What's good, Tia? How you doing? How's your day been? USS Indianapolis. Dude, I didn't end up watching it. I'm sorry. I ended up schizo posting and Gnome Chad stream. Um, I can't talk about it yet, but I do have it in my uh, watch later. What's up, Jared? I hope you're having a good day, Sam. Uh, what type of Orthodox? Eastern. What's good, Javi? What's good, Pat? Yeah. Uh, do you receive commission every time Guru does an impression? If you do, today's been wild. I was listening to the stream earlier, and it was like all these Rego impressions, and I went out. I came back maybe like 45 minutes later, and fucking... Um, uh, they were still doing Rego impressions. But it's good. Good promo. We got it. Yo, Ryder, what's good, Jimmy? Do you receive com uh, that Orthodox Christianity is beautiful? I'm converting. And seeking the truth. Uh, stay seeking the truth. Thank you, dude. Appreciate you for the two US dollars, man. I'm greening out way, to way too high help. Um, What would I do in that situation? You just got to puke, dude. It'll make it end so much quicker. It's the, cute, uh, it's the key. Just puke. Puke a little bit. Go to bed. I sent you something on IG. Okay. Sick video today, man. Thank you a lot, Trevor. I saw I fucking, you're that, you're the man, dude, commenting. Uh, I see you coming back like every 20 minutes to the, or like every 30 minutes to the fucking video. You're a goat, dude. Uh, but appreciate you. Yeah, dude, I had fun making that one. Don't know what I'm going to make next. I probably won't make anything else for 290, but I'm going to make a video on why British people have never been champions and never will be champions. So expect that. Maybe tomorrow. I could probably get it out, to be honest. Not super busy. There's a Nicolas Cage movie about it. Don't pay that film any mind. The real story is bad enough. Yeah, I'm not going to watch some Hollywood fucking propaganda, Sam. You know, bro. Um, there's something I was going to do here. Oh, yeah, I wanted to put it in. How do I open this fucking thing, dude? Hmm. I need to write something down, but I don't have a pen. Sorry. Uh, Noam Chad has been mogging you lately the streams. You need to get more skits. So that's Noam Chad's like um, uh, thing, dude. I can't, I can't get that skit, so. When are you doing a book club with Jordan? <laughs> Love it. I don't know. I'd like to. It'd be cool. That'd be cool. We could read uh, something extremely based, dude. Base. What's good, Jay? How's it going, dude? My conversion you're excited about? What's up, Rigo? What's good, Rebo? How you doing, dude? Don't dedicate a video to British slander. It's not... British slander, and it's not a dedication. It's an expose on how cock soy the British are. Why they'll never have a champion, especially not a double champion like GSP. Uh, just made rich rice crispy treats another day. Green Oh, Mike, you gotta chill, dude. You're like stay seeking the truth right now, dude. Fucking too many of you guys wilding out. Which good, uh, Divinish. I swear I'm yet to laugh at any Strickland press conference aside from these ones. Really? I don't mind them. Like, yeah, I don't necessarily always laugh out loud at them. I always find them entertaining, though. Like Strickland's. I always find them entertaining. Uh, but, yeah. Not everyone. Not for everyone, obviously. Rigo looks like he has the run of the litter. No. Well, yeah. I'm smaller than my brother. Meow. What's good? <laughs> Random picture. Doing good, Rigo. Enlighten my mind research from Noam Chad's teachings. Noam Chad uh, is such a good fucking... Good uh, view. Such a good view, dude. His channel's so good. His streams are so good. Oh, dude, you know what I found? So weird. Gnome Chad must be blessing me from afar or giving, putting in really good vibes. In a way. I went for a walk earlier today. Just walking along. And look what was left gifted for me. It's wild, dude. It kind of got fucked up in my pocket, but it was pristine when I found it. Literally a raven feather or a crow feather. I'm not sure which one. It was just gifted for me. I got fucked up in my pocket. I literally forgot about it. Isn't that so based? Yeah, Noam Chad literally had a raven feather get gifted to him the other day. Um, did Volk 
lose against Makachev because his ritual had no time to take effect. Yes, absolutely. Well, I actually forgot to put this into the video, but I believe that that they were cursed from doing that Aboriginal ceremony and that uh, by doing that mockery of the ceremony and Islam refused to come to the ceremony based man of God. Uh, but you could see that he was thrown off. His mana was extremely drained from being on the island of uh, Australia and surrounded by all the dark energy, right? So you could just see the the levels in performance there. It wasn't so much that... Um, well, Volk was also super powered from the rituals. So I've written can't own weapons. I know Siegfried got it's fucking it's wild, to be honest. Do you think Strickland attempted the self-censor in his JRE episode if he didn't have him watched it? Oh, do you just mean in like in future TM? Well, Soy, Jamie cut out parts of the conversation. Potentially. I mean, they probably will regardless, just because they always do just look probably a little bit of stuff, right? But I'm not sure. No, typically not. Like, I don't think so. We'll, we'll just wait and see, TM. And uh I'll definitely watch it. How the Riz going with Liana. I'm trying to get that unspoken Riz going, dude. On it. Who's John Africa? What's good? Dude? Supper, good supper. Rigo, can you talk more about these dark rituals? And like, absolutely, absolutely, uh, absolutely. If you're also interested in just esoteric knowledge in general, you should check out Noam Chad, uh, his channel. Very good esoteric knowledge, mystical knowledge. But I'm going to be making a video on actually positive white rituals. Everyone says, oh, I get a lot of comments. Not everyone. Most people actually enjoy the videos. But some people, oh, you're such a hater and negative. Well, guess what? I'm going to make a video on how esoteric Jordan Cannonier is, and it's going to be an extraordinarily positive video because he's based as fuck and practices positive magic. Rigo, careful with it. Rigo, gonna gonna riz Juju up by showing her his prayer beads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm playing the slow game with it. Did, did Volk sacrifice the Sonya balls for the ritual? No, but I'm pretty sure Taitu Avasa is a mana pick. Okay, mm -hmm. hear me out on this one. Someone mentioned something in the comments and made me think about this. By the way, who is more so evil, pound for pound, Matt Hughes or Ali Abdulaziz? Probably Ali Abdulaziz. Well, I don't know. He's more sinister. It's hard to say if he's evil. As a long time real big, I hope you'd happy to have made an op out of me. I refuse to watch your lies and heresy. Come on, F -way crook. You're going to like the new content for uh, 291 and stuff like that. Australia hate will be over soon. Rigo, you can talk about masonry and MMA. You can definitely look into it. I don't want to get too, too close to the truth, though, so someone kill me. But, yeah, I'm going to make a video on Jared Cannon here for sure. Um, no, I'm trying to hilarious. I could imagine him having a million viewers with the right spells. W. What's good, Society Jones? Uh, my grandpa's a grand wizard, found the robe in his closet. That's a different type of wizard. Entirely different type of wizard. Dude, the schizo spirituality shit that Noam Chaitan is actually quite enriching to believe. And I feel I've received blessings. Dude, 100% opens up your mind. What's up? What's up, Trippy MMA? How you doing, dude? That raven feather needs to be framed. You're going to put into your upgraded set in the future. I know, dude. Wild. It was just walking. It was perfectly in the sidewalk, dude. I think it's a crow. It was really close to the place. I saw a gathering of crows the other day. There was like probably 20 crows in a field. Just chilling. It was, it was a creepy, but also very powerful um scene to behold and then very close to that i found this feather today hmm i wonder what they're trying to tell me uh 4 a.m and i'm watching rigo fuck me sideways city kickboxing on those esoteric steroids for real for real dude uh, but the dark kind i think eugene is smuggling esoteric steroids from usman's crooked pharmacist father yeah but see if anything usman may not be dabbling in such dark such darkness. His might be more of a biochemical. Hmm. They're all practicing magic. Ah, that's very interesting. Are you familiar with Warhammer 30,000 or whatever it's called? 40,000. What is it called? If you're British, you probably are because they're like obsessed with that shit. But there's like the Adeptist Mechanicus or whatever it's called. And they're like machine worshiping cyborg monsters human monsters basically aren't they as far as i'm aware so that's more like usman rigo back in the day when my dad bought our farm in the 80s santeria group did a chicken sacrifice on our property my mom has pictures of it. if you want to see them i'll have to dig them up yes yeah, so if you can find them 100 percent, send them to me dude on uh send them to me on instagram bro oh shit sorry guys my chat was frozen here i'm really behind so i'm gonna have missed a few things i was like why isn't this moving at all 
Sorry, happens to me all the time. Can't wait to have a second monitor. I do apologize for that. John Pork sends a card. Oh, the Guru send people over here. Cool, dude. Cool, cool, cool. I was watching Guru's stream uh, earlier. He, it was like a Rego impression simulator. It's fucking wild. I just came to see the vape reveal. Oh, I'll do that. Rego, the star of Guru's impressions. Yeah, it's become becoming a fucking character, dude. It's wild. Uh, schizo feather shit one second into joy. Oh, dude, I did not know I was getting fucking people sent over here at that moment. Leah Janet. The energy Jew is so actually hot. Yeah, oh, fuck. Uh, fuck. Yeah, she is. Guru is the only gay in the village. Getting KO made him a better man. Um, shit, who was I talking about? Liana took, looks like a, my coworker. I'm trying to smash. Ah, oh, dude, if you had a coworker that looked, dude, if I had a coworker that looked like her, I would not have a job anymore. Uh, how do you know of this alleged blood magic? Just a lot of people in chat, a lot of based people in chat been putting me on this stuff. Guy named Gnome Chad, very enlightening. Uh, streams. I don't know if you're being real about blood magic or joking. Okay. When I start ma when I started making I'll be honest with you guys. I'll be fully transparent with you. When I started making that video about Volk, wasn't entirely serious. Especially not about Volk's connection to blood magic. By the end of making that video, I'm entirely convinced, I've entirely convinced myself that yes, he practices blood magic. CKB practices dark blood magic. And What's his name is a cult leader. See, uh, Eugene Behrman is absolutely uh, a cult leader. The pot, my theory is that the reason he has that uh, it, evidence shit. Your name is mentioned in my stream like once every two minutes. I know, dude. It's wild. Yeah, chat's going fucking nuts. But it's um, it's wild. And appreciate you, Indian dude. Being thank for the five dollars, man. Being serious. And thank you for the raid, by the way, Guru. That's very nice to you to send people over here again. That's super chill. Being serious, how come Volk hasn't faced serious EPO accusations? Well, mine's, I guess, not serious at all. <laughs> Shit. Well, he has now, because I am kind of being serious. Dude, go look at the chart. Go look at the full moon chart. It's fucking ridiculous. Who fights that close to a full moon? Okay. He starts training at City Kickbox in December 2019. Officially makes the announcement December 20th or whatever, right after his first Holloway bout. Right after his first Holloway bout. Ever since then, he has not fought without, without, uh, the, the furthest it's been is a, was, was TKZ, seven day full moon after the matchup. But he probably knew all oh, my mana, my dark power is probably strong enough to beat um, TKZ regardless. He's a mana drained Korean. Every other fight within like three or four days of a full moon. He's doing his weight cut during the full moon, helping him suck his power. Or Blew my mind. Magic and his illusion. That's what they want you to think, bro. UFC is so twisted and depraved. It affects dark energy. Uh-huh. If you're such thing. Thoughts on Hollow Moon. Oh, it's good, Wheelchair Jiro. Is that the real Wheelchair Jiro? Um, you Thank you, Javier, for the five fucking dollars. You get mentioned in Guru Stream since you're the truth, brother. Keep it alive. Thank you, Javier. I really appreciate you, dude. Noam Chad is an interesting guy for sure. He's a great channel. Monday equals Moon Day. Your delusions and stop hating on Dan Hooker, bro. Rigo, this needs to be mentioned. Quote leaders speak with the weird cadence. I, I, I would make maybe a follow-up because I didn't quite... Uh, some of these things came to me after my video I made today. But I exposed them. I exposed them. I called them a cult leader. They speak with a weird cadence to help hypnotize their subjects. Eugene literally has cult leader cadence and tone. Weird to us, but you fuck. Dude, if you haven't watched my video, Tigger, you should because uh, there's a clip in it where Eugene Behrman is going, dude, it's the fucking weirdest video. They're playing like the cultiest music. It's like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, but it is the real wheelchair driver, I think. But so it's good, dude. Um, you, that it's so weird, Juru or Guru, when you fucking see it, they're playing like some cult music. And then Eugene Behrman's like, Today, I'm going to select fucking Tyson Pedro to say prayers or whatever. And then well, obviously take him like 15 seconds to say that. And then um, Tyson Pedro's like saying a prayer going like brother Israel and all this shit and like fucking. And then they clap for him as loud as possible. Who the fuck claps after grace? The fuck? And there's like 30 people clapping for Tyson Pedro for saying grace. And they're like panning around in this massive like cult okay <laughs> dude, it's fucking weird they are sickos new zealanders are sickos and they're corrupting australia i think i was really wrong to go after whitaker i think whitaker is coping with everything 
I knew maybe Rudy called out Alex P. Alex Pereira? For what? Not Black Magic? Guru loves Rigo. What would you do if someone called you and you'd said gone too far? Yeah, you're done and hang up. <laughs> Magic Halleria, for sure. If you guys really believe in that, I feel sorry for you guys. Terpy. And hey, people were thinking I was defending or uh, that video is like a pick against Volk. Nope. Uh, yeah, year 100% practices like Santeria and Latinx magic, Latinx magic, you know what I mean? May not be as a dark level as the CKB guys or as orchestrated, but he's doing stuff. They all do shit. They're all doing magic. I'm barely joking. Maybe I'm half joking, but I'm barely joking, dude. Some of them are just more open about it. What's his name? Is he straight up said I do juju at 3 a.m.? No one claps after prayers, which I know Justin Hunter. It was like a massive round of applause, like standing ovation. That was the final ritual. Who's obtaining data for his impressions? <laughs> True, he is. Boom, uh. I didn't realize Dwarfs had such an affinity for the dark arts. Well, no, they could, they're easily corrupted, though, right? Because they're greedy. And they're distracted by shiny things. Uh, Turpy made because you're call, we're calling Volk out. Yeah, it's really because of the Volk thing. Because the magic's real. It's all over the UFC. If McGregor had defended a featherweight, you think he would have halted Max becoming champion? Interesting question. Probably. Probably. Well, on his uh, keeping the same momentum, yeah. Alex and Izzy definitely do black magic, but I don't know how long he would have defended for. Probably not much longer. Rigo CKB. Who would have fucking came after Max? So I don't know, dude. It's hard. I can't really think. Sorry. Uh, Rigo CKB is probably doing moon rituals. Mm -hmm. Thoughts on Gnome Chat actually mogging Guru. Gnome Chat is great stream. Great, great, great stream. Latinx is a horrific slur. Well, us New Zealanders are literally from the bottom of the world, underworld. We have Maori magic. Dude, the Maori do have magic, but the fucking um, guys like KKF are trying to suck the man out of you. You go like my dad, Terpy, don't scare the kids. Jidra, what is Juju? It's like voodoo. It's essentially voodoo. It's like the pro predecessor of voodoo, African voodoo, West African uh, folk magic. Um. They practice it in Nigeria, Ghana, Sierra Leone, that type of shit. And it's what inspired voodoo in the Caribbean. What's good, brother? What's good, bro, Sigma? You remember Bryce Mitchell doing a ritual during Tapir? Oh, true. He was doing rituals. They're all doing rituals. UFC is a recurring ritual's blood sacrifice that coincides with satanic calendar. Bro, my mind's getting blown right now. Lingo, it's good here for now. How you doing, dude? I think Izzy was talking about this hentai session at 3 a.m. No, he said I do things. He goes, I'm not going to call them rituals, but let's call it juju or something like that. He's like, I'm up doing that stuff in the which is the truth. Like, Izzy is a very disciplined, focused guy. He probably 100, and they're, he's 100% like a superstitious guy. He talks about all that stuff all the time. Manifestation. He always talks about that shit. And sometimes he lets stuff slip out because um, he's not a very, uh, he doesn't have a good filter because he's very emotional. Um, that's why Cannoneer's level is increasing. The crystals have harnessed to full power. Yes, he's, and he's, Mm -hmm. And he took the long route, but the right route. And thank you for the two pounds, TKH. What, what's good, dude? Was I stream? What day was drunk as fuck? What? I think you might be still drunk, dude. Was I stream? What day? Drunk as fuck. I don't know what you're saying. Type it again, TKH, in here. I'll try, uh, try to catch you. Saki, so suck seeds for me. Guru, you need to get into a gnome tried stream so he can set you straight and show you mercy. Don't tell me the kids. Santa ain't real. Dude, don't try to fucking... That's a false equivalency or whatever you call it. There's so much symbolism in it. Like, mm -hmm. Dude, McGregor, for those of you who didn't see this, but if you watch like episode one or two, I can't remember what episode it's in of Tough, McGregor's straight up trying to teach one of his uh, prospects uh, a uh, magic ritual uh, to cast out pain. He's going, focus on the pain and you have to fucking grab it and physically manifest grabbing it and fucking. And he's like, and you cast it. And he's straight up showing him like a, but he's like, he doesn't get to the point where he actually teaches him how to do it because he's in you know probably get killed if you start initiating the unworthy word around the street but come on they're all into magic yo romero maybe one of the true uh cannoneer type guys who's very holy warrior of christ uh you might need to keep one eye open if you keep exposing them he's playing with this dog's dick dude that's like uh animal animal uh sex rituals uh, is a big part of that stuff uh, I think if you have a bathing servant, Izzy, you're right to perform juju as revoked. Oh, you guys want to know actually going off. You know what's uh, interesting? This is not a mystic or esoteric or occult thing. Uh, when I was looking up some shit the other day, I was I found a recent article uh, about the school. I was looking into the school that Izzy went to in uh, Nigeria. And he 
it was recently shut down for I can't remember how long, maybe a year or more, uh, because a girl sex tape came, like a child sex tape came out from the school system he was a part of. And they were talking, it was a massive scandal in Nigeria, and they were talking about shutting the entire school system down, which was like, I don't know how many schools, but you know, like eight schools or whatever across the district. It's a school board, the equivalent of our school board, right? In North America. And um, I'm wondering if, did something happen to Izzy at his school, something like that? If he was exposed to like a sick institutionalized um, abuse uh, in, a, in a school system like that. And they were like prep schools, right? He went to like prep schools, um, those type of British institutional schools where they teach you British English. And British people are known to be uh, like depraved groomers. Izzy is one of the worst characters in the UFC. Yeah, but he's awesome because of the fact that we hate him. Like, you want to see him get fight and get flatlined. You know what I mean? I like him in the sport. I don't care. I don't want to see him, like, leave or anything. I can't watch Soy Krumerger anymore with Noam's chat on the scene. Bro, someone asked Yo Romero, what's the worst thing you've regretted? And he says, you don't want to know. Yes, he's probably maybe dabbled. Dude, but he probably got out of it. You, you don't, If you start dabbling with that stuff, you can get out of it before it corrupts your soul, obviously. Izzy Victimark. Right root is light magic. It's stronger because it's got, yeah, it's a, a fanless Norseman, 100%. That's why Canadian is reaching the peak now. Yes. Yep. And that's why Yoel still in his prime. Africa's crept as fuck. Oh, dude. Yeah. He got molested. Like, I don't know, but some type of abuse, maybe. Two schools. So two schools, then well, take him from the faculty. Um, I'm not 100%. I can look more into it. Many more fights. It would seem that way that they're shutting down the entire school system. Uh, is all of uh, the school board, sir? Is all this stuff in your newest video? No. Nope. Nope. Detective Rigo, nope. Did not put that into there um, just because I didn't think it was. That's a little bit more serious and, like, a massive. I don't know if I would do something like that. Wilcher Jerry, would you make a lot of sense with this rich family flat Africa entirely the most remote continent on the planet if you're part of something like that? Yeah, it's potential. It's potential. Um, yep, 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 yep. Honestly, makes more sense than his bath servants abusing him. Dream prediction, Tony goes on another title run, but at the cost of damage, champ 2024. Dude, that'd be fucking sick, Andre. <laughs> mm, I don't care. He dies to get the belt back. He dies in the octagon after getting the belt wrapped around him from an aneurysm or something. That would be a glorious way for Tony to go out, a true warrior's death. And it would be the way he'd want to go. You think Volk has any runes tattooed on for Dorvish Black Magic? He may. I haven't actually looked at his tattoos closely. I didn't ever thought to do that, dude. Someone in chat who has an eye for that stuff should do that. Be a mag and let me know. Be a magician like the judges and prophets. And yeah, it's an English prep school thing in Africa. You get initiated. Yeah, yep, yep. It's an English prep school thing. Yeah, because that was very common in English prep schools, even in mainland UK up until the 60s and 70s, like homosexual um, initiation and hazing and stuff like that. Uh, and teacher student relationships and stuff like that. Very, very sick. Is he was kidnapped by Hillary Clinton's Clinton Foundation and took on to Epstein's Island to become a child sex slave. We know the truth. Telling you how finna be hot. We know the truth. You got to get out of the power of light. Usman's family give him the pharmaceutical. Yeah, I think Usman's family may be not uh, dark as we are giving that. You know, and I like Usman person. He's got that spooky voice, you know, <laughs> base takes on ethnicity. Devolk mine Canadian's crystals and then sell him false ones before the Izzy fights. Dude, I was saying this earlier. I got this sidetracked. Tied to a boss is a man of pig. Okay. Uh, he's half Aboriginal Australian, one of the oldest cultures on earth, continuous cultures. They know so much esoteric stuff, but it's just not easily transmitted to us because of a massive cultural divide. And he's also regarding investing in a PC. Yes, info very soon, very, very soon. And he's also half, um, some sort of Islander. I can't remember exactly which one it's like Samoan or maybe like, it's like a Polynesian Island, right? Uh, someone tell me what it is, if you know, but point being, they are high in mana there. Holy shit. Samoaners or whatever there are, Eastern, whatever. Samoaners? No. Um, Samoans and those like Polynesians, so high in mana. And Aboriginals have very high raw power. So uh, he's like a mana pig for CKB. They're sucking the mana out of him in uh, forcing him to do shoeies and stuff. And then suck because he's a super great guy, Ty. Awesome personality. Really charismatic. Um, they're destroying him for their own purposes. How the temperature has changed in that year. Yeah, watch the beginning of, to the initiation game. They love boy love those prep schools. Mm -hmm. 
Usman does science instead of magic. Yeah, he's more of like a cyborg wor science worshiper than a black magic practitioner. He may even practice white magic. I don't know. He seems pretty holy. The Chaos Dwarves went you to forget about them, but not on a cannoneer level at all, hence why his fall from grace. Then they want to turn. It's the facts. Rigo's my favorite MMA drag queen. Don't say that, Frederick Hawksville. Maori, member pig. Maori, Maori, the whip rebel. Take your shirt off. <laughs> this one is a warrior of light. Yeah, like I would say he's definitely on the right path. He's not on the wrong path. He may have clouded his vision with vanity and materialism because he is an extraordinarily materialistic individual. Rigo, you are young, getting a loyal following fast, and you sit on your throne preaching a new religion. Could you possibly be the editor? guy? Shut up. I'm not preaching any sort of religion, dude. Uh, dude, no, I'm not. I'm literally, my stream is called Converting to Orthodox. Dude, I saw Jan Blachowicz in a climbing tree to gain powers. Elites climb Everest to gain powers. Yeah, getting higher up is always good because it increases signals to your brain for sure. David Aronson is a man up. Yes, 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 yes. Merlin, you made a great point in my comments. So you should say whatever. I can't remember exactly what it was, but something about him being also. Yeah, yeah. He's just another mana pig tied to a boss. <laughs> David out of son, you're mana pigs, dude. Okay, I'm going to make a video on mana pigs. I'm going to make a video on mana pigs. This is getting too much for me right now. Breaking my brain. David out of son. <laughs> Uh, dude, thank you for the fucking uh, two Australian dollars, Jesus Christ. Guy. Least and favorite current fighters. Hmm. Um, I fluctuate a lot with who I'm most excited to see watch, obviously, based on the sport, right? Uh, but, dude, uh, I don't know. I'm really, I'm really liking the South African guys right now. Um, DDP, Simon. Simon's one of my favorite prospects, Bantamweight prospects. Um, Regal base is fuck for that. Appreciate you, Jay. Regal witness on Sundays. Um, and I like Pavlovich a fuck ton. I'm always excited as hell when he's about to fight. Um, Jamal Hill, probably my favorite champ. Really like his style. Like his fight is his, uh, his fights are always uh, fight of the year contenders. So if you miss a Jamal Hill fight, you a fucking you a bitch. You a straight fucking sucker. Um, least favorite fighters. Oh, and Marab would be like one of my favorite fighters. But again, kind of getting onto other guys and shit. Um, bu 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 as it's obviously he's not fighting right now, but least favorite fighters that's a little bit of a tougher one because I don't really actually hate any fighters. Um, uh, that's a little bit of a tougher one, like, I don't really hate any fighters. Um, at least I don't think about them often. Sorry, give me a sec, I'll try to think of someone I hate. We go doing Jesus prayer to ward off skinwalkers. What the fuck, man? Chaos dwarves are true evil. Pray for year. True solar warrior. But Usman is only a warrior for the light. Rigo, he's not ascended to being a true warrior priest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like Kennedy. Exactly. Spot him. Someone see the nose on Rigo's desk. The nose? The notes? Of oh, my notes? Uh, and to impress Jajua. Yes, I'm trying to impress Jajua. I'm trying to marry that bitch. Oh, that what beautiful fuck. And already. Anti rizzed myself out of it. Uh, fuck. Jan did mention that he helped the poor guy with that hanging, you know. It's a known fact. And pull no, Walter Alpha, are you fucking serious? They sent like a Polish interview or something as like a joke. Yeah, yeah, warrior of light destroys hobgoblin filth like Tapiria. Charles Olives, Rock. He's a warrior of God as well. That's another one. Forgot about him. Um, forgot about him. Freemason, you're okay with you? What do you mean? No. Wait, what? What are you talking about? I don't really know much about it. We can swallow you guys see you. Well, appreciate you from death. I've been trying to impress Le Le Leanna Jujua. Best thing, Connor never faced Tony. I think it would have been a bloody fight. Sure, sure, sure. Think Pettis fight, but worse. Yeah, 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 because he's got grit, unlike Pettis. Um, yeah, dude, absolutely, Andre. On recent app, that's a good uh, good take. On recent app of BYM, 57, 55, Bispin lets it slip accidentally to him. Andre Malachi threw some... No, I don't think he does. I heard Guru talking about that in a stream earlier. That's a British, common British phrase for a date. Like, not even a date. Like, like to go out uh, for dinner as a three, a thruple. Or, fuck, that's even, like, sexualized now because all these sick polyamorous people, dude. But don't let... No, he's like a 50-year-old man, a 44-year-old man or whatever. We go, which variant of African magic does the Duplessis family practice? Ah, that's a good question. He's 100% sniffing raw rhino horn. 
and shit before exercises, but I have no idea. Um, hmm, interesting, interesting, interesting. Some type of fusion, boar, African fusion. Interesting, man. I don't know. Um, impression of Guru doing a regal impression. It's okay. She understands English, crude language, I bet. Okay, good. W, I'm yeah, in yet. Yon is deranged. Jesus, Walter. Well, I'll look into that one too. W, Riz. Women love to be called up. Okay. Well, I'm going to marry that bitch. John Jones is God's student. I don't know about him, man. I think he's a skinwalker. Charles Olive's magical rock. Wait, does he have a magical rock? Paladin Chandler is a true solar warrior. Needs to embrace that will by knocking out Connor and become champion. The dagger, yeah, he's like a Hyperborean slave owner. Um, Rigo Hopper than that Jalen Turner. Wave. Oh, of course I'm picking Jalen Turner, my guy. Bridge, you know that. How are you doing, dude? Uniform down is capping, calling you swole. No, he's not. The Dagestanis dominate you because they're only 70% human out of mouth control DNA. Oh, for sure. They have tons of admixture like that, dude. But Volk is the least human fighter on the roster and has 50% Badlands Goblin DNA. Rigo, Black, what are you talking about? Ringo, did you think the UFC is aware of the wizardry problem and allowed to happen? There are, you don't think Dana White is doing black magic and shit, dude? And all sorts of uh, Sufi uh, type of shit with the Saudis or the whatever they're called, the Dubais, the Gulf Arabs? Um, more magic going on in the UFC and Harry Potter. Yeah, bro. Gay air. Bobby is a sex pest skinwalker. Just watched your new video. My eyes have been opened. Appreciate you, Alexandre Hardy. Incredibly brave of you to expose these frauds to the world. Thank you, dude. Coming more. And expect a positive video next because I know there's been a lot of spooky, dark content lately on my channel. But we'll be go. How do you become schizo? You need to talk to Noam Chad about that. He's way more enlightened. He was also he was making a good case that for schizophrenia and CTE. He said that. He said something like, I'm going to make the best case you ever heard for CTE. And then he proceeded to. Wait, there's a little rig of Pib. Oh, I, I don't know. I think he's visiting family or something. He said last time he was in here. We don't accept Sat Saturn worship in here, Bubby. Mm -mm. Is Volk some kind of corrupted dwarven paladin? Or is it, like dwarves, again, they're not like the same as uh, you or I in the sense that humans tend towards the lighter paths and the lighter magics. And we actually have an aversion to dark magic. It takes a lot for a human to become corruptible. Abuse of a child is often the biggest way of corruption starts. So, no, humans always tend towards right. Dwarves, like Volkanovsky, have a much more like chaotic, or not even, it's hard for humans to uh, w relate to them. They're much more focused on things like their craft, you know what I mean? As opposed to their soul. Congo, so Volk would really typically actually probably not even have much of a moral issue with practicing black magic to attain better skills dana is fully engaged in saudi scat magic just ask the ringles yeah oh, well maybe but definitely some sufi chef jay whatever it's called Volk is a chaos dwarf he worships baal hamad is bad guy still on you for talking smack no no no. i think we're good now i'm converting to orthodox how long will you start talking about astrology no 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 i'm gonna probably be onto something new in about a week or two for a preferred burger um don't worry it's there's never like a consistent theme to my channel in terms of this type of shit. What type of magic does Deontay Wilder use? I don't know much about Deontay Wilder, to be honest. Heard he channel his ancestor spirits. Okay, can I like DM Chad? I'm trying to have CTE and schizo post out of schizo lab. And I think he has a, a Instagram, but um, I don't know if it's like public. You'd have to ask him in his stream. Dwarves are hard to corrupt. Yes, sure, but not nearly as hard as a, as a, Righteous human. Thoughts on battle bots being more brutal in the UFC. <laughs> Dude, it's brutal what they had to let those bots do to each other. No rules there. Like gingers, because we're made in the image of God. Dwarves are good of are good or evil in between. Hmm. Yes, we go. Imagine you bulk up KO Blagoite, successfully convert to Orthodoxy and marry Jeju and hit a million subs. You could make a movie. 
out of that. You actually could, dude. And let's fucking go, dude. They have runes and shit. Let's go, Jay. I think I remember something about Blahovich going to a spot where there's a dead human. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before every fight. Uh, well, I think he says he goes back there sometimes to recharge. Yeah, that's an insane statement. So going back to what Walter was talking about earlier, and he keeps a piece of rope for good. Like, yes, yes, yes. He said, I've heard him say that before, that he'll go back there sometimes to, like, recharge his energy. What? What, dude? That's black magic. Volk soul is done. Mm-hmm. I think Dana White did black magic just to get the UFC to begin. That's 100% possible. 100% possible. Uh, yeah, he's probably been engaged in that shit forever. Hell yeah, brother. Thoughts on wheelchair dream being Jake's dad. Nose magic. God, Jajia's nose. JP Morgan said millionaires don't use astrology. Billionaires do. Quay's mantra. I fear that I'm part dwarf. I always identified with Gimli and the dwarves of Kazadun. Well, if you know your Lord of the Rings, then they fucking... Don't those dwarves literally not have a soul, right? They're like soulless or something, if I remember. Most dwarves avoid the black magic of the serpent because they like to make tech. That's true. They're just obsessed with like their crabs, but they're easily corruptible. We have a debate in group chat over who are the best bears. What's your thought on the matter, Ego? The best bear? Polar bears, for sure. Dwarves are always evil. The chef cat of Genghis Khan genes. Oh, probably. Oh, yeah. Doesn't one... It's like a massive percent of the world. It's like 4% of the world does or something like that, isn't it? 2% of the world. It's something crazy. Or, uh, and 20, like even more percent of like Asia. A righteous human can become corrupted by Boneda. What's Boneda? Battlebots unironically kicks ass. Good show. Classic show. What's up, Slate MMA? It's a dream. Michael Sklauza. It's 100%. The dream and goal. I'm surprised Volk didn't do booster commercials. What's booster commercials? Like, like booster seats or what? Volk will turn stone by the age of 50 at the rate. He's using so much of the, too much of the bull God's blood. Thoughts on Angela Hill? Like, what do you mean? Like, her skill? Or what? What about Angela Hill? It's a weird question. What's your profile pick of? It's an orc, actually. It's a, I never intended to make this an esoteric MMA channel. It's not going to always be solely focused on that. You guys know that. I'll make uh, different types of documentaries and invest, like, obviously more serious ones and other uh, types of jokes and shit like that. This is just what I'm memeing right now. Who knew MMA was so fucking dark? Thoughts on DDP mogging that skinny claw Israel. The slim, skeletal slim baguette. Thank you for the $2 hot and sweaty hail. Appreciate you, dude. Lillian would make more money on OnlyFans than the UFC. But I don't fucking say that about her hot and sweaty. Thank you for the $2. Don't say that. Yeah, it's true, but it's also don't try to talk that into reality. Thoughts on Jake's Nation somehow being collectively hated by everyone here and other MMA shows. Um, a bunch of your family members are probably Freemason warlocks and you don't even know it. Dude, that'd be cool if I got initiated eventually into some type of occult shit. 4% of Asian men, I think. Okay, that makes probably more sense. It's still insane because that's like two-thirds of the world's population live in Asia or something, right? Chef Kaz, direct descendant of the great Khan, bastard lion clan. But yeah, dude, I know Juju is fucking hot, beautiful, great personality, charming schnoz, such, a, such an amazing schnoz on her. Um, the appearance of Angela Hale. I mean, she's okay. She's okay. Kind of cute. Occasionally. She's all right. Don't mind her. More serious. That ain't no meme. Hmm. Volk is so fast because he shoots straight black e into his veins. Your profile picture is not in Arkansas. Okay, don't be a fucking dork, dude. Thought some of you saying your fans are gay. Well, they're not. My fans are the most Giga Chad fans and audience in the world. Fans is a gay word to use, though. I don't use that word. Audience, enjoyers, chatters. The chat. I say this consistently. The chat is half the fucking channel, if not more, because I was saying this earlier. You guys will feed me ideas that develop in my fucking head into this shit that's coming out in the videos. You guys also comment really, 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 really funny shit and are pretty active in the comment section, like responding to new people or just responding to each other in the comment section. So people have told me, like, who've been new subscribers recently, have told me, like, oh, like, I subscribe because your comment sections are so funny and shit like that. So I'm assuming, there's, you know, there's going to be people who, so not fans, chatters, contributors, and not gays, okay? Giga chats. Sick of that slander. Marigo fan, well, hey, you're more than that, Sesti. Uh, maybe people who just watch, we could call them that. 
but people who are chatting and shit and giving ideas and making comments definitely more important than that dude we're not that fans are important not that people who are just watching are important that's also super fucking shit too but no i don't like the word fans anyway those people are like an audience and stuff you know what i mean uh, rigors exactly dude it happens do you think that yeri screaming like a crack in the forest gives him some voodoo powers oh he does old czech magic old germanic uh, or slavic magic dude slavic magic whole oh, he probably knows some stuff that i would be very keen to get my hands on he seems like a righteous guy another one thank you for mentioning him uh do you think that uh blood don't kill frenchy that's why bad masons exist Frenchy potato most masons are just dweebs they don't tell them nothing that's true. But there's secrets for a reason. Don't lay hands on your blood. It's forbidden by God. Anybody watching Wheelchair Drew consisting of DJ and listening to him talk shit on Halo? I'm just a Rigo enjoyer. Appreciate it. This is a serious Christian furry server. Please, guys, be serious. <laughs> Rigo, that video really creeped me out about CKB. Good work. Thank you, Scientologist Blacksmiths. Female fighters sell their souls to get into the UFC by Brazilian voodoo or daily oral sex with Hunter and Dana. There's, yeah. I don't know if they're even needing the Brazilian beauty. I think you're thinking too far into that one. I think it's just the oral sex. I think it's just the oral sex is good enough there, dude. Based Rigo with Georgian appreciation. Hey, Georgia's uh, number one ethnicity in the UFC. What screams back at Yeri and uh, for women? Best looking women in the world are from Georgia, Armenia, that part of the world, but Georgia specifically. The title in the stream is the answer to my comment in your last video. Oh, which I didn't see uh, your comment yet, Joshua. Sorry. I don't think so, at least. I will definitely make sure to check. When it make a video about Ilya Tapiria, I could I could definitely joke uh, her, good George and Chad, but I think he's losing power being outside of Georgia for so long. He needs to return to the homeland. Uh, we'll bring his sexy Spanish wife back to the homeland. You know what I mean? Dragon fucker. <laughs> oh, <laughs> do you hate dragons? Same. Uh, oh, good point about Yeri. I'll bet if he didn't find Black Magic already, that's exactly what he was. No, I don't think he's looking for Black Magic. Shout out the real samurais. Yeah, he's like a focused samurai guy that like Mobo like said there. Well, I don't think he's just talking about samurais, real rigors. Funny that Drew Dober can't explain why he was doing the Martin Luther King assassination. Dude, someone sent me a video yesterday of Drew Dober dancing in a club. And there's two guys making out and like snuggling, snuggling their necks, like their noses into each other's neck behind them. Why are you wearing your girlfriend's shirt? It's not my girlfriend's shirt. It's not even actually too small for me in the slightest. What are you talking about? It might just be how I'm sitting, bro. It might just be because I'm looking fucking swole, bro. Yeah. French potato. I just randomly remember that line. I'm trying to get Riz up Leanna Jujua. This Leanna Jujua is really fire. I love that kind of look, dude. She's beautiful. Yeah, keep your fucking eyes to yourself. Legalize nuclear bombs and Reddit Whitaker. She'll be nuked this Saturday by Boar Chad. Dread guys. Jason Rick, it's happening. He's getting it done. Just took a dab. Nice, Abby. What are you, uh, what are you smoking on? This power would be insane. Old men need to step aside for the young lines of God. Got like me. Got you like a gnome. Yeah. Volk 100% taps into his Macedonian heritage to create curse tablets for each of his opponents. Blood magic. I like the way Volk was humbling the fans about Tapira in his interviews. Huh, Johan. Robbers were holding the superior, absolutely, and more connected to the homeland. Plus, Strong Island is also a very mystical, magical place. There's lots of power on Strong Island because it's such a holy. Um, there are theories that it's the true Garden of Eden. Hope you're okay, bud. Everyone wants a piece of the YouTube phenom, Rigo, but no one wants to know the guy behind the screen. Many pros like banging and prominent knows broad of your choice, but you still... Just that Nova Scotian. KK, okay, okay, well, Polacos, I'm not from Nova Scotia. Never even been there. But I am good, dude. Hope you're having a great day, man. I'm bad. feel pretty good. No complaints. My eyes are kind of fucked. I need to uh, do something with my eyes. They've been hurting. Like, bro, even Brandon Moreno thinks Whitaker is too much of a nerd. I know, dude. Um, but even Whitaker thinks Kaikara, Kaikara France is a little goblin. No, I love dragons a little too much. Oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. Why do you think only King Mo got the KO? Can't KO a king. Yeah, he does have God. He's a Hussite Frenchie. Lunch lady arms. No. What happened to Black White Diet? Uh, I'll do another mukbang Black White stream soon. I'm not cut out for that like daily, though. Dude. I got to build up into that shit. But I do. I want to. And I'm going to. And if Leanna Jujo is ever going to pay attention to me, I have to be 
beefy. You know what I mean, the Sept of Rigo getting the guns out. I just said, how many has anyone stopped Volk or is it too late? But the answer is orthodoxy. You got it, dude. I heard that Marav and Aljo were once. You got it, fucking Joshua. No need. No need for anything else but base orthodoxy. I heard that Marab and Aljo are once one beam, but we're splitting the parts by some cataclysmic event. Could be. Yeah, like a sundering in Long Island. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, there's all sorts of probably magical, what do you call that type of stuff? Where people dabble with like magical experiments in Long Island. It's bubblegum cautious. Rigo, do you think that LV shaving a smiley face on the back of his head is devil worship? I don't know. It's it's symbolic of something. Someone in chat may know. I don't know. I'm new to this stuff. Very new to this stuff as well. Rigo, do you think Jalen Turner will beat the shit out of Sobok? Yeah. Gonna finish him, I think. What's up, Rigo? Do you remember me? Toilet clogger. Yeah, dude, I recognize your name. I haven't seen you in a minute, I don't think. Those triceps are pathetic. You're supposed to I do. My triceps are not fucking pathetic. You fucking bomb. What are you talking about? I got fucking nasty tries, bitch. <laughs> Blue light glasses. Yeah, I probably should. Western Mass, not bad. Yeah, insider information that Rob screwed half of brothels and Tbilisi based. Even Whitaker, Sean's KKF. Yep. Maybe all of the realm was the Garden of Eden. Well, uh, me all of Long Island. Better Max is moving to 155. His chin might crack longer. He stays at 145. That's great. That's great. Great, great. When was that announced? To be honest, I missed that. You're the first person I've heard of that saying that. Andrew. Older contenders like Gaethje, Poirier, will probably turn to his. Yeah, yeah. It's a good, I, uh, it's good. And uh, good money fights up there, too. Whitaker hates Kai Kara, weirdo like me and my boy Rigo. Was so happy I'm already a subscriber. And you also hate that gremlin or Kai. I do, dude. I fucking hate him for some reason. Is he going to be my dad? I don't know, man. Eagle got eaten. Do you still think you have a target on your back after exposing these devil worshippers? No. I don't I don't fear the fucking devil, dude, or demo, demonic uh, things. You just have to know how to handle them. You can take Regal out of Nova Scotia. You can't take Nova Scotia out of Regal. I've never been to Nova Scotia. I never will go to Nova Scotia. My family never even lived in Nova Scotia. Like, never in history. Uh, the great trees fell and the vapor canopy went away. I'm starting to believe Eagle May released a skin marker. Dude has basically been in hiding since Noam Chai started streaming. Yeah, dude. Or he's a fed. These videos on UFC's... There's videos on UFC's occult origins, really? I'll have to look into it. I got $800 on Yair Rodriguez. Not bad. I think he might get it done, but I'm not super confident. I think I am picking Volk. How to stop Volk? RA needs to possess Yair um, to burn the dark acre out of Volk to take a chance of doors. They're still exceptional warriors. They're runic sequences. We could do a video about the camp of Sarah and Longo. Shit's weird how for Volk I got to KO McAnny in eight seconds and beat Stober. I could look into it. What do you want me to say? That your triceps got blocked by I'm like, oh, his triceps have superpowers like being invisible. Uh well, whatever, dude. I'm not trying to flex on you fucking guys. Uh, I don't want to embarrass anyone. Rigo, if you truly want to raise up Julia, you have to convince her that you have pheromones are irresistible and she'll never smell anything quite like you again if she walks away. Yeah, dude, I know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm working on it. I've been feeling a yeah, you're insane, bitch. But I'm really torn. Probably won't make a pick definitively until Friday or something. Bro, what, bro, what, Javi? Could Molina McGregor CBT rituals be their downfall? Hmm. Is that cognitive behavior, behavior therapy? McGregor's probably doing that because of all the dark shit he's seen. Molina needs to do it for other reasons. No, it might be the only thing keeping them alive. That African queen from Angola been popping up in my algorithm, too. Oh, the, the, one, the, the, the one from the 1600s? If you stay down this path, they will come after you. You stay strong. Okay. Flex on us. Yeah, it doesn't have enough power level yet unless he has some Aztec shit. You can handle the devil. Well, no, I can't handle a direct confrontation with the devil. That's insane. Rigo, they're going to come for you soon. They first visited a guru shortly after 10K subs. What do you mean? Rigo's family is from Winnipeg. What do you mean by that, Eros? Don't say cryptic shit like that as if you know some stuff. Say it. Spit it out. Don't leave me guessing. Fuck him, Steve. I fucks with you, Rigo, but I'm hot. No worries, Abby. Enjoy the sleep, dude. I'll be uh, live for members later if you wake back up, but um, I'll be back tomorrow, too. Is Lucas Tracy a vampire? No, he's a, 
Pygmy, no, man, this is definitive. We've definitively. But someone made a really good theory the other day in Gnome Chad's stream that he may be a skinwalker disguising himself as a pygmy. Skinwalkers could really, anything can be a skinwalker. That is true, because the more advanced the skinwalker is, the harder it is for you to tell it's a skinwalker. But you see how he sometimes has the eyes and the, the lips, and they look like he's almost wearing a mask? Some There's some validity to it. Fuck all that, lol. Anyways, bro, how's your ear going to cry when Volk beats his ass? He probably would cry, too. Tossed in Spanish. Oh, Dios. Dios mia, mi abuela was so fucking counting on this. As far back as Black Magic goes, he has the creepiest evil-looking tattoos. Maybe some tattoos and trenches. Yeah, someone was saying this earlier. Maybe it was you. No, I don't think it was you, French. I think you just got the chat, right? But someone was saying that earlier about the Volk's tattoos. But I'm not actually. I've never even thought to make that connection. But I'm going to start looking into the tattoos. Hey, Regal, long time watcher, first time chatter. Do you think the reason Hooker dyed his hair and got tattoos was to hide the side effect from the Black Magic? Also, KKF got a huge back piece out of nowhere. Uh, oh, oh, excuse me. Yeah, I know. Uh, Hooker also got Maori shin pieces. Or uh, whatever that shit's called. Um, w Thunder, by the way, I appreciate you. Search CBT if you don't know. Isn't it cognitive like behavioral therapy? Um, what was I going to say? Uh, I finally joined Trump Trumpology. Trying to get that thumbnail. Nice, dude. I will check and see if anyone, has, if you or anyone's waiting. Regal legit question. That's on. They come in the catch in on that Canadian ass. What do you mean, Eros? I literally don't know what you're talking about, dude. It's fucking freaking me out. You could have handled the devil, Regal. We all have power and authority over them through the power of Christ. True, true. But yeah, but exactly. And I would also never Brit invite the devil. Regal, are you religious? Gotta be, dude. All humans are religious. When the devil asks to dance with you, you better say, n or at least spiritual. When the devil asks to dance with you, you better say never because a dance with the devil might last you forever. Man, I'll cap. We go, if you, yeah, mm, that's sick. That actually goes hard, though, kind of, with the man, I'll cap emoji at the end. Lennon? We go, if you hear Wenzel, you dance to Sovim Mont live on stream. What's that? I don't know what that is. For sure, Polo Costa searching on Hub. No. Okay, I know what you guys are talking about. Sorry, it took me a really long time to get this DJ and reference. Um, no. Well, I don't know what the, even the question originally was. But that's disgusting. Rogan trying to interview Volk, but he's just balled up, crying while you're flexing. <laughs> Rigo's just a proper Frenchman now. He knows to get off the devil's lettuce and stop the alcohol abuse. Absolutely. Danzo Bronx hooker trying dyeing his hair blonde lives rent free in my head. I know, dude. Why do you do that? And the the tattoos and shit immortal technique the legendary philosopher told he has an <laughs> under 70 iq yeah he's an idiot but he made some bangers back in the day one of the hook christian pieces is celtic i believe oh, okay well whatever doesn't matter in my opinion to me they're not it's to me it's not celtic it's mary whatever okay i was wrong uh fuck Rigo, do you know anyone who's ever been possessed no never seen anything like that actually never seen anything spiritual otherworldly or anything gypsy magical is how fury got up from the wilder knockdown yeah the most spiritual stuff or magical stuff i've seen is actually in the ufc or combat sports i'm a big hooker fan but i knew him saying he got that tattoo because his married hair just right over he go up <laughs> patty getting knocked out would be cool yeah yeah i'd like to see it i'd, I'd like I, i'd like to see that thoughts on chick-fil-a never had it I'd like to try it, subscribers wonder. Hey, Rigger, long time commenter for some watcher. Who would win? Jukas, Case, here, Wiltshire, Juru. Uh, dude, Luke, Wiltshire, Juru. Wiltshire, Juru would call. Uh, no, sorry, sorry, sorry. Lucas Tracy. Lucas Tracy would collapse his lungs, like with a takedown or something. Dude. You're making fun of black magic. You're done. You had your chance to worship the Dark Lord. You were stubborn about it. You're done. I don't sit well with me. Landon X, the dance of the devil is just a metaphor for life on this world. Why do people low Moreno so much? Why does he say, dude, oh, it's so special? In niceness is so overrated. Yeah, I don't know. I don't personally like him that much. You ever go to Detroit? No. But I also don't feel the need to like attack Moreno or anything. I'm just letting him be. He's like a little man. Rigo, do you drink like liquor? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, well, no, actually, not that much. Not that much. But I heard whiskey is good for you, so you should technically should drink whiskey. Rigo, there's only one thing that invites the devil, and that's belief in God. I'm not saying belief in God is wrong, but that's just how it happens. Devil don't give a damn about atheist here. He got him. Yes. Oh, yeah, absolutely, Eros. You're spitting. 
Trying this base. Hooker the bitch thinks he's too good for Tony. I know that really rubbed me the wrong way too, man. He's just been rubbing me the wrong way for years at this point. Well, he was on the same level as Tony, and though he beat Pussy Pull Pullies, he thinks he's him. Yeah. Yeah, man, he's really rubbing me the wrong way. My girlfriend woke up with a scar after watching a paranormal activity movie. I had to do an extra person. Yo, yeah, what's up, Colt Discord? How you doing, then? I think Tony was stuck between the old man and the new, the old and new era of the UFC. Had he been younger, his career might have different. Sure, 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 dude. Just a couple of years, even just a couple of years off. Is that a true story, French? If you fail the test, you go to jail, hell, until second judgment. No, they are married is a Tomoko, you're right. Okay. I'm going. Okay, appreciate you that for that. Now you're from New Zealand, aren't you? I'm gonna live tonight. I'm seeing spiritual shit, and I know plenty of stuff is on. Nice French potato. Ice coffee, gay? Uh, no, it's good in the summer, but it's gay if you're doing it in like the fall or winter. We go shit to Lucas Gacy in a fight. I think Guru had actually a good prediction for that. Like Guru or Tracy would get the better of me for most of the fight, but I would catch him with something. I'd even KO him off the bottom. Serious question. Who in the UFC, past or present, has the best chance of beating John Bones Jones and how? Past or present? Oh, for a second, I thought that meant the future. Um, sorry, I'm a little bit high. At light heavyweight, I assume you mean, right? Or what do you, uh, any weight class? Because I think Pavlovich can beat him going forward, but uh, at heavyweight. Like, I don't think he's as undefeatable at heavyweight as he is at light heavyweight. And it depends how bored John Jones is, right? We saw him kind of lose to Reyes when he was bored. Um, yeah, man. Dude, I don't really see many light heavyweights beating him. Not even the guys around right now. He could probably beat them all, especially in his prime. Like, he come down and beat Hill, yeah. Uh, Yuri, fucking Krylov. Krylov kind of scary, freaky, dangerous with some weird shit. So you never know what Krylov could get off, maybe, but I don't know. Um, yeah, I think a heavyweight better chance of beating him. It probably will, maybe, if he sticks around long enough to get beat by heavyweight. Obviously not his prime, but thoughts of these. Well, thoughts of these total cope tattoos from Hooker and KKF being about them never being able to attain anything other than extremely mid legacies. Yeah, I don't know, dude. It's so weird. Agellian dialectic. Yeah, there's something going on uh, in that part of the world. He and her friends all woke up with scars in the shape of a V. Gin and tonic is the summer drink. Well, yeah, we can drink it in the morning. You caffeine, so caffeine and gin and tonic. I was possessed once, but I just pulled my shit together. True, the devil only comes to those that rise and you're rising. I'm guessing you sell out. They don't give you much of a choice. I hope not. I did get offered a couple sponsors. I had a couple sponsors reach out to me. If the devil comes, just call him a whiny bitch who needs to read the book and learn that daddy loves him more than man since he told him to pay in the aspect of creation. Trail sauna with a little more steroids, Mogs Jones. Okay, sure. Yeah, you get some steroid freak. You don't know, but Dan Hooker is doing... Didn't John Jones sue... Or uh, John Jones got sued by Trail Sonnen. Did he insinuate... Like, he said he was on steroids or something like that, but he fucking was. Okay, how you can sue someone like that? You guys don't know, but Dan Hooker is doing a power play by rejecting Tony Ferguson to fight Jalen and then going on a Drew Dober rampage. Maybe Mobix, if he does, he might be able to redeem himself. Cain Velasquez. Trip, 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 trip. Trip, 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 trip. Good, good, uh. Good example. Somebody could beat Jones, maybe. Yeah, you would make him turn gay for you with those glistening triceps. Chill, toilet clock. Devil owns this world. You're only me and if you get close to escape him. Trip. Ayo pretends to be a victim, but literally bullied a guy at CT and shop. They all have massive double standards, and they all have a mob mentality. And they're all cowards, and they'll never go up to people who are popular, like Israel Adesanya, or people who are well-liked, even if they deserve to be gone after. Um, or even if they don't. Um, so, yeah, they just have a mob mentality, but they do have also a spiteful reptilian mind. A lot of those media people, not even uh, any type of, this is not memeing anything or, or, or joking. Like they actually do have like a, they want to bully people. And the second they get a chance to hop into a mob, they do. And you see it all the time. And you see that 
brought to the forefront with things like Twitter, with all that canceling shit that was going on for a really long time, kind of slowing down, coming down now, right? But um, yeah, and the media were front and center in that. Uh, it's not an exception as like Ariel or anything, for sure, for sure, for sure. Um, crazy how Lucas used to skulk around here in his all Lucas T fitness. But the moment you started talking about the paranormal and cut the season, already found anywhere anywhere. Yeah, I, know, I haven't seen him in a while. Like, he used to come in here. He definitely used to come in here. Um, I like Lucas though. All memes with him, and he has a good sense of humor about himself. I didn't take anything seriously. The demon is paranormal activity movie was named Valak. And they all woke up with V uh, shapes. Shitty kickboxing is so sus. Yeah, I know, I know. I wouldn't trust Behrman with the dollar. Nope. He's a very shady character, dude. Why does my chat seem like it's frozen? 100% it's frozen. Fuck. Sorry, guys. I think I probably would have missed, but shit. Dan or Jalen? I'm going uh, for Jalen. I'm going to pick Jalen. I think by fin KO or something, dude. Finish him, TKO him or something. Y'all remember when Moicano got mad at his opponent for submitting? Bro, wanted to keep fighting after he won. Moicano's a giga chat, dude. Great picks, too. Great picks. Apparently uh, uh, doing real good with the picks. He's crushing the YouTube and shit. Kaikar fans always rubs me the wrong way. Okay, there's no way my chat's not frozen. It hasn't moved here. This is fucked. I gotta refresh it. Sorry. What is an owner with? Okay, what the fuck's going on here? Mic check for the algo. Okay, there it goes. Sorry, my shit was frozen there for a minute. Nothing was coming through. It's back, it works. Yeah, I think something, I might have had a little bit of a disconnection there or something because I wasn't getting any chat. So sorry, guys. Uh, it might be backlogged or something. It's back, testing, testing. Okay, okay, good. It's a bit weird there. Uh, I was like, what the fuck's going on? Like, my internet go or something again? There we go. I can see Louisiana just drew his beautiful face. Okay. God, that's a nice fucking thumbnail, dude. Louisiana Jujua. It's back. It works. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. Let me pop it out now. We'll get it back uh, up. The big chat here. Um, that was weird. Whatever. That shitty Canadian internet, dude. They're coming for me. They're coming for me. I'm talking about too much. South Park Christianity is the true way. Yeah, yeah, dude. As opposed to the Orthodox. Um, Eugene just has such a punchable face. Oh, dude, such an awful voice, too. Lucas hiding all his pygmy ritual paraphernalia right now. <laughs> Should I go and train with Eugene Behrman as an experiment for a day to see how they do? Yes, how their camps and document any wish it. Yeah, but you'd probably have to get into it, dude. It's probably similar to like a mystery cult or like the um, Freemasons or whatever. Fucking, you probably have to like get initiated up levels, right? That's why we start seeing these guys certain like Dan Hooker is only now getting the access to this stuff. Lame Canadian internet. Something happened there. That was weird. That was weird. Sorry, guys. When did y'all become common English? I swear, ten years ago it was only a Southern expression. I'm not sure. It's not super common, but it's become very popular through internet speech, right? Has made it popular. Like young people. Y'all. I don't like it that much, but I didn't say it, did I? Seems like some typical nomery taking place. There was such tricksters. Guru Ray. Guru Ray again? Did he do another? Did he do members or something? Or was his stream rap live or something? Still? I thought he ended his stream a while ago. He was fucking in here. Regal Ray time. What's happening? Is my brain literally fucking breaking i swear to god this is this has happened this is like i um this is like in the matrix when they see the black cat i didn't raid you earlier just did it for members now oh so you just came over to the stream or whatever oh, okay 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 that makes sense yeah okay okay yeah because i'm pulling it I, yeah you didn't raid me i'm pulling in these numbers with uh 
No raids, that's for sure. Reddit Whitaker has one performance against the 70 IQ Italian Gollum, who's so fucking dumb he thought he was decisioning Izzy, and suddenly he's untouchable against, according to NPC Dreams. That's such a good fucking message, dude. Just did it for the members. Oh, cool. Well, appreciate you, Guru. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. You did right. Yeah, I swear to God, he did say that, but the the he definitely didn't, I guess. Base Guru Raid. Holy shit. Twilight Zone. Yeah, I'm having a fucking Twilight Zone moment, dude. Uh, I used to think that Leanna Jewish picture is a screen cover. No, you didn't. The uh, the Orthodox one? That's wild. I want DDP to beat Whitaker so bad to see the entertainment of DDP versus Izzy. Yeah, I don't care who wins that one. Just want to see the build up. Yep, don't see it happening. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, 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 dog. I got you. I got you. But I'm not going to doubt. I'm going to send all the energy and mana I have towards DDP. I don't know why you thought I did it earlier. I think people just naturally came here. I think they were just saying that people said Guru Raid, and I just thought it. No way. I'm going to do shit. And I appreciate you doing that. You know, no need to. Um, but I do really, really, really appreciate it, of course. Guru, get out of our magic club. I'm mainly joking with Whitaker. Hey, yeah, I see him of late but i did f why are you rhyming like that I, I find ddp's reaction to a stupid comment on ddp having nothing to lose funny he's literally one fight from a title how does he have nothing to lose yeah he's gotta get his mind psyched up my black i appreciate you kendrick is go so i posture yes dude appreciate you posture checking me and give me two dollars appreciate you a lot dude yeah my posture has been getting fucked i always have to stretch so much after these long ass streams it gradually goes down also, I need to get, like, a higher camera and get my computer elevated. You know what I mean, bro? But appreciate you, Kendrick. Whitaker is probably going to get slapped by Drickus, not going to lie. Drickus never stops. I can see him just going forward, cracking him, dude. Whitaker wins on Saturday, too scaled. Fight IQ too high. Let's throw a poll up. Ha Rigo, is your outro some kind of demon wording? Yes, it's a... It's a Puerto Rican spell. Chad Nord Gibson couldn't defeat a corrupted human Jones, proving that no normal human can defeat a corrupted uh, Sweden is uh those that Scandinavians cursed. They've been cursed for a really, really long time. Um, hence what happened to them. Uh yeah, they're a far cry from from what they were uh, you know, even in the sixteen hundreds. Let me throw up a poll for the Whitaker DDP matchup. Best posture is always move or adjust. That is true. That is true. Thoughts on the Monkey King finding a video? I know. He seemed kill. He, he commented and shit. Yeah, Jordan Levitt, the second UFC fighter to acknowledge Rigo's channel. Um, after Black White Ivanov. Very different responses. Very different responses. Soy Boy, Black Boy with anger and rage. Giga Chad, uh, Jordan Levitt with appreciation for me mentioning him in the video and saying thank you for the shout out. Thoughts on Monkey King finding your video? Hey man, we're doing this thing. We're we're helping out these uh, these prospect or I don't know. Yeah, he is a prospect, I guess. Let me stretch you out, big dog. We're helping out these prospects. I just can't get see. Uh, you notice I don't slander prospects. I just can't see how DDP. I only slander long time people who've made their money. I just can't. I uh, see how DDP wins. Whitaker is better on the feet, better on the ground. I could just see him catching him, crack. If he blitzes him in the first, dude, just pushes forward. Whitaker's going to be sitting there trying to fucking uh, check hook him or something as he's blitzing. If Whitaker, or if DDP can just fucking crack him. I know he's so defensively aware and so fucking good and shit. It's Whitaker. Yeah, he's probably going to win the fucking fight. Don't take away my hope that DDP cracks him on the fucking goatee and chokes him out. In the first. I'd love that. But yeah, Whitaker probably will win. But I don't know. I'm picking DDP. I am going DDP. I can see it happening. Because I think there's a time. Whitaker's probably looking past it. Psychology does play a massive part in fights. Especially at this high, high level. What's good, Kairos? And Dick and him. What's good, dude? Rigo, I'm pulling up Mexican kids work today and fighting him because he threatened to kill me. Oh, damn, dude. Well, as long as he's around your same age, don't be beating up minors. Black White didn't fuck with you. He said, he wants, he said someone should hit me. Didn't realize you had such a camera inside when kid body. You should wear big coats even if it's simmering outside. I don't have a camera inside, man, kid bod, dude. What the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, actually, you know what? I probably do have the same. You know what? 
I often sit around saying, oh, yeah, I have like the same physique. Uh, the other weekend I was saying I have the same physique as Michael Morales, or what's that guy's name? The guy who was doing this shit, like, all the monkey man shit during his fight. That, that's Michael Morales, right? Um, but yeah, I have a Cameron Simon physique, which still great. Uh, still great. And I mog him in height. Cameron Simon will retrieve Blood Diamond and bring him back to his family blood mine. Hmm. Bowen are such a massive favorite. It'd be foolish not to put a few shekels in the lad he's fighting. That's true. Yeah, because he could lose. Yeah, 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 yeah. Could get derailed. It should be funny if DDP wins in the third if they're getting skilled on a fight. Yeah, that'd be that'd be sick too. He finishes it late, Jew. I think Whitaker's a sauce chin. Doesn't have the best chin at all. It's been KO'd, full out KO'd before. Nowhere got and uh DDP's all finishes. He's 17 up 60. Sure, you're good. Or he's 18. All right, fight him. Uh, chat knows DDP going to get the magic dust, black magic from Rafiki and Clock Bobby. Yeah, dude, he's going to be on the bucket, all the African blood uh, magic. I need DDP to win his next battle so he can go on the win the race where in South Africa. I just need that press build up yeah, with Izzy. Izzy rapes doggos. Well, he does like uh, rituals with them. Kid bods or Sigma. I'm not hating. Okay. I won't say kid bod. Dick, uh, Dickon, remember you ain't trying if you ain't cheating. Izzy is a big fan of Drippus the Bussy. Ah, oh, dude, he is too. No, I'm going to immediately blast double him and I'll always face him and I'm just sure, 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 sure. Yeah, you got this handle, Dickon. I mean, you also have that rage, that high T rage, 16 year old high T rage. Get it done, dude. Built like a skinny Nate Diaz. Sorry, no, it's not. I have fucking six pack and uh, packs. I'm not like Nate Diaz. I can. And I got lots, too. I can do a lot of fucking shit. Obviously, I'm not kicking my top off for you queers, but... Uh, no, dude, I'm not built like Nate Diaz at all. I actually have super low body fat. Filling out that tea. Yeah, facts, dude. Riga, did you do the mukbang? Came no, I didn't today, dude. Sorry, I know I told people I was going to do one today. Uh, I will line up another one soon. Um, any day now, I'll get I'll get another one. I just didn't have... Didn't fit into my uh, day today. Go out. I ate a big... A bunch of shit. I made some, like, tacos and... Or like burrito shit. And ate a couple of wraps. So I wasn't really hungry when stream came around. Um, Rigo just has the skinny man raise. I can see it happening. We'll see fair play to Monkey King for mentioning the video. Yeah, dude. Respect to Monkey King. Cool guy. Check out his channel. Little Jew, he was catch him in the third because Bobby Whitaker's a DJ and Coomer with no heart. Spitting, friendless. Did you know CKB uses pasta magic? An ancient Australian fable. Don't let anyone know I said this. Hey, wait. Possum magic. Yeah, but what do you think of TKP? Oh, bro. Error occult. Black magic cult. Corrupt. Probably tons of bad stuff going on over there. They're hypocrites. Possum magic. Hmm. I'll look into it. But yeah, I, my main issue with them taking away from any memes or anything, but I find them really hypocritical. Everyone there. Uh, I don't like a single fighter from the gym. And. Uh, your stream titles always make you laugh. Appreciate you, Ryan, one mostly. Butts and Guru coming out as non-binary. When did this happen? His members? Why don't you want us bringing up kid bots? I just don't want you calling my bot a kid bot. <laughs> and I don't think Simon would want you calling him that either. You go, can you tap dance? No. Clutes, but no. Nah. Headline, Alexander Ross Volk believes only way he loses to UFC featherweight is someone landing a lucky punch, i.e. through God's intervention. Why, man? Bro, these are things. These Ah, they're so aware of it, dude. They're so aware of it. Take it off. <laughs> O'Malley, my, I'll do it if Leanna Jujia ever came into stream. I would, but that's it. O'Malley might have his... Uh, if I ever got an interview with Leanna Jujia, I would take off my shirt. Um, What I would do, though, is I would, like, have the interview going, and then I would be like, oh, give me a sec. Like, I would spill something on myself. And I'd be like, give me a sec. I got to do this. Just read chat or whatever. Like, read the donation, the super chats or whatever. Because I'm sure you guys would be simping for Liana. And then I'd fucking slap the, pretend to slap the camera guard on and just uh, change the shirt so she sees. And it'd be subtle, like subtle Riz. Um, Izzy Adesanya's a brave dude. He said cracker on camera. Said, like, I, he's, he's based. I don't hate Izzy. Also, like Usman. 
but I do like don't don't respect Izzy. I I I, I respect Usman, kind of cheater, but they're all cheaters. Did you line up that interview with Cameron the Monkey Killer? Summon? No, I've never. I haven't reached out to him or anything. Uh, I'll wait and see what happens. He's gonna be busy in his fight camp, right? I'll see what happens this weekend. Uh, I will reach out to him though, because I think he would come on to me. He went into a channel with like 300 subs in the build up to the fight week. We go. What's up? Slap fight this Friday. Yes, the seventh. Thank you for reminding me, Savage. Came anyone in chat? Mark it on your calendar. Uh, the seventh of July. Slap companion. New say KB is a dark black magic cult. Yes, they are a black magic cult. If Drickus has better cardio in his fight, he smokes Bobby Cuckles. Let's see what that nose surgery did. What did Usman wake up from being slapped? Yeah. I remember, don't fucking slander the great Usman, dude. Sheik Kamaradin Usman. I remember CKB doing a weird religious pray at an embedded uh, before. Wait, yes. Uh, that's what the one I was talking about earlier. It's in the video I put out today. I'm in my post daily. Part of it. At least unless that's maybe not all, all of them. That might not even be the same one. They do that stuff, dude. Riga, are you a big stepper? I don't know what that means. That shirt fits loose on you. Okay. Did you ever feel fulfilled, Diego? I don't know. Yeah. I feel pretty uh, good. I'm cringing. Did you ask really nice tatas? Why would you be cringing? That would be a perfect raise, dude. Is that the girl in the thumbnail? Yes. Pop quiz, uh, hot shot. That'd be a perfect raise. I don't know why you'd be cringing. You should be a W. Family of black bears moving to the neighborhood. What do you do? Move? Because that's fucking so many bears. So many black bears, dude. I'm not living anywhere near that many black bears. I wouldn't even want to live near one black bear. Is that girl on the thumbnail? Yes. PFL so name is garbage. I don't even bother watching it anymore. I'll uh, watch one, even Bellator over PFL. Fuck that. I, I like one. Bellator's okay sometimes. They sometimes put on good shows. Subtle risk. <clears throat> Usman isn't cheating. He's just African. Yeah, dude. He's got that African power. Usman is base. Child. I heard the, the sack, sack, snake sacrifices. There is up snow buddies in college with Colby. That's based. Apparently, they were chill in college. Same with him. And Jones. Yeah, 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 yeah. They went to the same college for a period of time. You think Leanna gives good nose? Uh, don't. Don't. Disrespect her like that. O'Malley might have his Connor versus Aldo moment against Aljo. History repeats itself. Good. I hope not. Actually, I don't care. I hope he does, actually, Andre. Because if he does, Marab is going to immediately decimate him on his first defense. And it'll be so fucking funny. Power stop on Friday. Let's fucking go, Eros. Yep. The seventh. I'm not 100% sure what time. But I'll let you know later. Tomorrow, I'll let you know tomorrow. Andre, uh, but good point, man. And I hope I actually kind of do hope that happens. I'm gonna put the energy out there that Aljo does get starched by um O'Malley and Marab gets the immediate uh title shot. Just fucking mogs them for five rounds. Do a PFC companion. I don't know what that is. We gotta ask Money McConnell about magic and UFC. I hope nothing but the worst for Dan Prostitute Hooker. At this point, I really don't like his attitude. That's what I was kind of talking about with those guys. I really don't like the CKB guy's attitude. They seem to have this very arrogant, fake humility, holier than thou. Every like everyone has to act a certain way, but we don't. Like they're just no integrity. They all warriors of light. Jones is a warrior of light. How y'all think he dodged jail time? Oh, that is true. W slap. Yeah, slap so good. Would you rather a foot job from grass or in the shot? Hey, you talk about them like that. But you can talk about grass whatever the hell you want. You talk about Juju like that. Uh, you're looking like good dick rider. Rigo, you ever raised the girl you liked? What do you mean? Who or what was the CKB crew playing to, though, if not God? Well, you can pray to God and still be practicing black magics. I'm smoking meth hemp cigarettes now, so I don't pop on drug. Test. Nice. Until I pass a drug test for work, I'll go back to weed. Nice. Smart dick. Um, is your mom buying those for you? She gets your vapes, right? Is it true that you can go to Montreal? What are you vaping, dick? Um, what is popular in high school now? I was telling the kid the other day. High school kid was saying to me, calling me low impulse for vaping. He's like 14 or something like that. And I was saying to him, I'm like, buddy, give it a couple of years. You'll be vaping too. Don't judge me. Uh, don't judge me before you're... Uh, you're vaping in that school bathroom, bro. You're on that fucking watermelon ice in the school bathroom. So Drew giving me sloppy nasal stop immediately, sinful. Aljo's a dark elf, notorious glass cannons with one especially mix up for the high fight IQ. Yeah, and they're extraordinarily loyal, but also xenophobic. Rigo, you ever watch Slap Mountain? No, I'm a big Hardball Sibley fan. No, is it just like another promotion? I'll maybe check it out. 
Also, did you ever see the slap fight between Wolverine and Darius? Yes, with the commentary from Moist Criticals, the Epic 26. Yeah, because I watched the ones uh, that in the build up for the first one. I, so I probably maybe have seen it. I just don't remember like the promotion's name or whatever. Is Did they fight in Slap Mountain? Is that where they were fighting? But I'm a big slap uh, enjoyer for sure. I'm a big enjoyer. I've never been a hater of it. On paper, Aljo wins elite grab. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, 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 yeah. It's, that's the MMA for you. That's the great thing about the sport. Come on, Rigo. You know damn well that I've been one of the biggest proponents of prominent noses in the chat. I know, but just don't like say nose job or just like, you know. Just chill, dude. Just chill on that. We're trying to show her some. I'm trying to riz her up, not. Um... So it's your legendary Spanish riz. No, I'm going to work on some Georgian riz, though. Cook is based when you eat the leaf. Coca. Afghan women give explosive coochie. Looking like Sandhagen versus Cuck for the title. Yeah, apparently Omar Sandhagen was insinuating that him versus uh, Nurmagomedov Cuck is... Uh... Oh, wait, are you calling Marab Cuck? Or Umar Cuck? I don't get this statement, Michael. Alzo would beat Marab. Um, well, sure, yeah. Maybe. I don't know, but they'll never fight. Aljo would sub him around two. We're in a good choke. What turn be flaming? Bro, got that chase super build. I don't have a chase super build. I have more of a Cameron Simon build. God is two, three, and one chat. You can do dark magic in his name. He doesn't really care as long as you cleanse your soul after. Lo, I, that's not true. Don't believe what he's saying there. Lo, Rigo getting roasted by random kids. Yeah, dude, I didn't realize a lot of these people in this chat. I realized I've had arguments probably, like full out rages at like 15-year-old kids in chat. <laughs> Because uh, I didn't really realize, like, there's probably, like, yeah, there's definitely, like, kid, like not kids, but, like, high school kids watching this. Because I think my settings, like, when you put the, like, the settings are, like, 13 plus or something like that. Like, obviously, YouTube wouldn't let, like, children be watching these this stuff. Remember Izzy doing the cross over the monster logo? Uh-huh. I, I think vaping is gay, but I smoke flumes. Uh, flumes are awesome, yeah. Uh, generally, I don't vape, though. I smoke various forms of weed. Cool, cool, man. Cool, cool, cool. That's super cool. You're probably giga chat in high school, eh, Dick? You know? I hate how Americans bitch about how much they hate America. Like, move. I know, I love America. I'm moving to America eventually. He doesn't like it, so he makes you do homosexual actions to achieve dark power. Funny how critical mocks Dana's slap fights, but actively watches and enjoys. Um, he's a a uh, a bit of a um, hater, that guy, on big stuff, right? Like a little contrarian guy when he's really just like a low effort streamer at this point crazy how real elves on the on the elf bar corporation i hate elf bars hey rigo looking cute today. okay how's the gym going bro great great dude i'm getting swole do you think black skin is the best most beautiful most succulent skin of all the land i'm not jolly high school kids are little children no they're not they're teenagers you need a negger in a new zealand accent Sad kids need to be learning these things. No, it's probably better for to, high, to be inter inducted in high school. It's too early. You know, you get into this too early, you go completely skit. So you need to de develop, you know what I mean? Remember our legendary argument where you go, no, I don't. I'm Max, what was it about? I don't. Honestly, I've had so many fucking arguments in this chat, dude. How high is Pereira's Mona, Aztec, and Portuguese? It is higher than Bohovic, Polish power center. I don't know. Po Bohovic charges up with dark energies right by going to those suicide forests in in poland and straight up killing people so doing human sacrifice human sacrifice regardless of being extremely black blood ritual it is really powerful you get tons of powerful power from it so if what those people in the chat were saying that he actually killed the guy in the woods and hung him blahovich will probably become champ again we go when a 15 year old child unironically drops toxic oh god dude I dislike Whitaker for his nice guy act. I, yeah, well, I don't know. I think he actually is kind of a nice guy. Though. I wouldn't say it's necessarily an act. Kind of annoys me. I, I just dislike him for other reasons, his nerdiness and his coomer behavior. I want him to be a little bit of an asshole and he'll actually get popular. Yeah, he has no... Yeah, I don't like his personality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like in the sense of I don't want him at the top of the sport. Middleweight needs a corner. Character Strickland doesn't fill that role. Yeah, 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 yeah. But DDP could. That's why Jews get the banks and shit. God loves them best because of Abraham. Okay, flume pebbles. Where it's at, Abby. What's a flume? That's just a type of vape. I don't believe teenagers deserve the internet. 
You're on the internet and you're a teenager. I started smoking weed at 11. Now I'm gay. Already completely schizo. Imagine Bone Nickel loses some can. It'd be wild, dude. But a guy wouldn't really be a can. Oh, actually, he kind of would. Bone Nickel is not, not proven, proven. B low blowing picket, the bomb, you know, and uh, he's 4 0, right? Good Chloe always wanted to debate people, but always was just debates. I don't even, debating's cringe anyway. Who the fuck wants to debate, dude? Damn, bro, you really calling these teenagers out? It was about a blue haired girl and you thought it was bullshit. Oh, I do remember that, IMAX. I do remember that. The Latina you fucking were terribly cruel to. How are you going to cope with Latina's lack of prominent noses when you make the move to Miami? There's definitely uh, Caucasian girls in Miami. I reckon a southern Italian city is the place to satisfy your needs. But, dude, there's Miami's a massive mega city kind of, right? Uh, there's going to be Armenians and Georgians and stuff there. We're going to do a live stream, and I bet Juliana would love to live in Miami. We're going to do a live stream of workout. We want to see that big boys get up to. Okay. If you start, I will do that. For members. Um, if you start vaping in high school, you become like Desanya. Don't give them bad advice, Mobux, and you have no proof of that. Perfect schedule scenario. Marab goes heel, outclasses O'Malley. Peter Yan has a comeback, and we get the rematch. Let's fucking go. That would be cool. I think Peter Yan will be uh, Vera, right? Is that who's the, the stepping in? Or what happened? There's the Vera Yan matchup they're talking about, right? How high is in Canada? It's fucking hot, but not, I don't think, 95. I don't know what that is because we use Celsius. Hot as shit, my AC almost broke today. It was really, really hot today, but it wasn't. I didn't even need to turn the AC on, to be honest. So, But it was really, really hot. We go in the night. You're trying to raise up McDonald's. Calls him toxic. The internet and weed isn't any of violence. Schizophrenic. Yeah, you kind of are on hands, but it's kind of cool. Like you're always talking about like killing gnomes and smashing your neighbor's head in because you think he's harboring gnomes and stuff. It's fucking wildly based. Anyone else fuck with emo girls? Sure, of course. Alternative girls, great. Isaac was returned to life because God was like, bro, I don't want a human sacrifice. Strictly true, true fairness. Strickland is just, yeah, he hates human sacrifice. It's just a man amongst the magical creatures and sorcerers. He even hates all sacrifice now in general, even animal sacrifice. No burnt offerings, you know what I mean? Cameron Simon is autistic. He's wild. He's wild. Cameron Simon. Latinas are the best. They are, dude. And you can get a big schnoz Latina, which is rare. Latina was the other guy. Or CTE brains shriveled up, possibly, but they may also have new neural pathways opened up that give them other access to other parts of their brain. So it actually could be a positive thing, depending on uh, the degree of CTE. Tons of Europeans in Miami. We love everyone. Yeah, dude. Miami seems cool. I'd love to live in Miami. Eastern time zone. On the ocean. Tons of Latinas. Caucasians. Caucasian girls with big noses. Don't move to Miami, bro. It's fucked. You're not rich. If you're not rich, as fuck. Well, I'm not going to move there anytime soon. I wouldn't move to the States for a few years, probably. Debuting, maybe I'll move to Naples or Jacksonville. Vera is fucking washed. I mean, is he, is he washed? He's just been always been over-fucking-hyped. Whenever I drop women inspiring, I make sure they have a loaf bread. When they hit the deck, they can make me a sandwich. Chill, dude. Stop inspiring women. I think I saw they're, they're getting prelim. Pedro Munoz, the fill-in for Triple C. Oh, interesting. Prelim Pedro. Huh. The fuck is a gnome? Like a small diminutive uh, creature. Yeah, right there. Right there. They're putting them in chat for you. That is a gnome. Debates are as fun as fights. You're just dumb and bad at speaking if you think otherwise. Uh, no. Thomas Sal is an anti-white. If you're actually based, you know he's a stupid person. It's intellectual. I bet with this one goth chick who saw a ghost. I should have learned from her. You should have, dude. What the fuck is going on in this stream? I don't know. We're just chilling, Gift. How you doing, dude? Words convert as good as swords. Lieta Jujuro always takes her newest boyfriend in the mountains of Georgia, the fighter brother, to see if they're strong enough to protect her. Dude, let's go. I'm training. Thoughts on grooving? Too much of a gnome. Normie to understand most of what we talk about. He's learning. I can see it spill spilling into his streams. Hello, America. What's good, Nomchat? How you doing, dude? You going live tonight? The based Nomchat. Riga, how many times do I have to tell you Caucasian isn't a race? I'm talking about Caucasian. I'm not talking about Caucasian people as a race. I don't even believe in races. It's an outdated concept. But 
Um, you know, I'm an occultist. I'm talking about Caucasoids, like Caucasians, like people who live from the, come from the Caucasus Mountains when I'm speaking about that. Sorry, if it's confusing. Probably not the correct term. Well, I think that is the correct term, Caucasians. It's incorrect to be calling everyone else Caucasians who are like white and have Indo-Aryan traits or whatever like that. Probably more accurate to say Indo-Aryans or something like that. And there's a lot of proof that Caucasians actually aren't even really related to us. So it's, it's complete. It's more accurate to be calling people from the Caucasus Mountains Caucasians, because that's what the fucking thing would mean, than it would be to call any of us Caucasians, like of this massive, like vague uh, racial group. Noam Chad, bro, what's good? Yeah, dude. Jacksonville's too good. Nah, yeah, I was just joking about that one. Jacksonville's a fucking dump. Um, choose Nashville. Oh, that wouldn't be my. Uh, you know what I wouldn't mind also is the Carolinas, somewhere in the Carolinas. Hello. <clears throat> I want to know more about this dude who's going to kill over the gnomes. Oh, that's dicking him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dickenham is kind of insane. He's insane. Dustin Boyer has a hood. He's a child. He's not a child. He's just a teenager with high, high testosterone and a bit of a violent outburst towards mystical creatures. <laughs> no, I'm trying. It's just divine energy, not brain damage. My Wi-Fi is sus right now. Let's see if I can go live. True, dude. My Wi-Fi been sus. Dude, do you think they're uh, doing something to you? DDoS in you? Race isn't only isn't real. Only cast brothers. I think that real. Don't go to Jacksonville. Here's what you want to be. I'm a Florida native. Move to Tampa, Sarasota area. I've heard great things about Tampa. On the That's on the Gulf side, right? Naples is good. All up the co East Coast from St. Augustine to Melbourne. And Destin, Penascola. Okay. Okay. Coming from a Floridian. It's far off anyway. I'm sure I'll chat with you guys more and more about it if it ever actually went the closer I get to it. Because I would like to live in the States, not... Ban or not set on any specific state, but it would be somewhere in the south. Like I'm not leaving like the Eastern Time Zone. Maybe I'd go one hour behind, like Central. Texas would be okay. Good thing we don't say anything based or skits so or the scary new stream watchers. Uh, sometimes the streets are going real skits. So regard ancestors traded pelts and furs, brother. I do. I felt the connection, brother. Nice. Yeah, you were part of that Western fur traders. I thoughts on the uh, rigorous harness in our esoteric giga chad knowledge and taking over all of Jerusalem. It's the power. Thank Noam Chat. Let's be real, Rigo. If everyone in the chat was drunk, we would all tap a man in the from behind. Sure. Camera flash at night is crazy. What do you oh, dude. Have you ever just taken a picture of a garden? Do that, dude. There's a possibility you, you, UFC is hoping your dog becomes a young champ. Could see him defending for a while. Your dog, dude, he's younger than he says. Too. He lied about his age or something like that. To get in the fucking professional fighting. He's like fucking uh, like two years younger. Like a year younger at least or something like that. It's impossible to know. Uh, but yeah, dude, uh, he'll be around for a while. Absolutely. You know, he'll be at the top when we're saying like Simon rise up to the top and shit and fucking. We go, reckon you could get out of the reach around. <laughs> Covering whole use for kings. Yeah, I think the CIA is DDoSing me for being too base and exposing the truth. How much of a cock is Neon John husband? Strickland was legit sexualizing her in the last video. Yep. You know, he's probably sitting there fucking getting bricked up. Salt and burn the corpses. Dickens isn't saying he's simply on another plane of existence. Tampa Bay is late. Yeah, I fear Tampa is a great, great, great place. Sprinkle iron flakes or ash. Tampa's a nice city. Okay, three of you now saying this, confirming it. Okay, on the list. Iron is divine metal. All metals are, have good properties. Why didn't they're all conductive to a certain degree or they have other types of properties, right? The working metal back in like the Chalcolithic era or whatever would have been. Uh, Literally magic. Why didn't Sean O'Malley make the inbred list? I don't think he's super inbred, is he? I doubt he's inbred. Being from where he's from. Right? Why do you think he's inbred? 50, 50? Uh, quick alienate all the new viewers. The stream is getting 50 plus viewers on average ever since going schizo. That's kind of true. It's, going, it's been going up, bro. It's been going up. And people are loving the new schizo videos. So I'm pretty sure if, you've, if people watch my videos and hop into my stream... They're getting what they want. But if you just find my stream and hop into it, like you may, I doubt you'd like it anyway, right? Maybe, maybe, maybe not. But I mean, anyone who's going around like the live stream and going into live streams and they're not even like an MMA person or whatever, or shit like that, and they don't know what the stream is about, like, I don't know. They're probably not going to like it. Or they might be the type of person who, like, I don't fucking know. Best state to live in is Colorado. If you go, oh, I hate though, I would not stand the weather. I couldn't stand the weather. I don't, I'm getting out of Canada, dude. I'm not trying to move to a place with the worst winter. If you're looking for a safe Caucasian area, what, with Georgians? 
um, some Latinas and some Asians, mostly white with illegal food, some Canadian seniors. I know, dude, I know, but I'm trying to get away from that. Shit. I appreciate that, Sebastian, for considering my, uh, what I've been up. He looks inbred, yeah, but I think it could be from being constantly malnourished because he's not a Bantamweight, right? He's just a bully. Um, O'Malley's a small town in Montana called Helsinki. Okay, you could be in bed then. You might have been on to something 50-50. And he's cuck, showing a lack of IQ. Going out the Greeks in Tapron Springs. Is that in uh, Florida too? Have you seen the inbred family? The Whitakers. They're not inbred. They're actually extraordinarily outbred. Too outbred. Sean O'Malley is not inbred. He's a human fair hybrid. <laughs> yeah, dude. Scare away the beta males. O'Malley moved to Arizona at 20. It's true, it's true. But that doesn't mean he's not inbred because of his family or whatever. Oh, you wait, you were the one saying he's from that small town in Helsing, though, right? Zaman Dallas Page is fighting Whitaker. No, fame. You fucker. What's up, dude? Gotta like the videos and streams to get rid of some algorithms. Appreciate you, Sebastian. Really appreciate that. Yeah, I do appreciate that. I, like I said, you guys are great, to be honest. If you guys get on the videos, like, insanely quick, and we'll be uh, commenting and bantering with people in there. So I appreciate that a fuck ton. Let's be real with all spiritual beings in this chat that can all ascend to the holy gates of heaven, like our holy father, Jesus Christ. Dick him on his, on his spiritual shit today. O'Malley was pushed too much to be the next Connor. And it's not even that. I think he legitimately thinks he is. But you know who he is, Andre? Another person might come around in five years again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, there will be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's only how it will be. You know what he will be? And what he, he's been fighting against? And well, he's an Izzy, dude. O'Malley's the next Izzy. Like, and he will. He'll be around the UFC for a while. He'll be a star. He's very talented. He's very good fucking striking. So a very exciting fighter to watch. So right there at a technical level, there's a comparison, not necessarily in like the fine details of their style or whatever, but um, they are. They like their, they like their kicks. They like their uh, strikes. Um, and they're not great grapplers at all, right? Um very flamboyant personalities with the dyeing of the hairs and the tattoos and the face tats for Izzy or for uh, O'Malley, but also the dyeing of the hair for Izzy and the costumes and the earrings and the necklaces and stuff, right? So they're very, very, very similar. That's like a very similar personality type as well as just stylistic type. Um, popular, but also easy to like, like, there was that time where, like, you either hated or loved Izzy. Now he's becoming pretty much you kind of hate him. That'll happen to Sean. I think he's going to become a – because there is still – he's a big, big fan base, but those guys going to grow up, probably not watch the sport anymore or whatever, or grow to hate him, dude. So I can see him just being a new Izzy for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. Uh, ferrous metals in general are useful for uncovering gnome tunnels. Ferrous metals. That's like iron or iron-containing or metals, right? DDP beat Whitaker via diamond cutter. Do you think you can be any WMA fighters? Oh, sure, sure, most of them. And do you think they should get rid of WMA? No, but they should balance it more uh, and really pay attention to the pacing of cards. I feel like I could grape Juliana Penny before she burns and bites me. Dude, imagine her mommy milk. Or, but, uh, ch chill, uh, chill, Rigo. Um, no, they need to pace it better. They need to really be aware of pacing with the WMA fights because they're almost always full length and seven out of 10 times not exciting. So pace it better. Um, you know, two max type thing. Uh, never on a pay per view unless it's a title fight type thing. You know what I mean? If it's Amanda Noon, if it's a top contender, it's the featured prelim or it's on the prelims. Like we do not need a top contender's spot from women's flyweight being taken up on a pay per view. Start using the women's championship events as fight nights because that's actually a good thing. You have that as the fight night, and then you have. The second big in name, the one because nowadays the fight nights are kind of getting lax, right? Like if that Tapiria fight night had had a nice, had had like that Grasso Shevchenko match two on it, right? Like they're, they're they are doing that, but so I think they might be going in the right direction. So no, I don't think they should ba actually ban WMMA. Just be very aware with it that it isn't the draw, and if you do want people to appreciate it or whatever, less is more, and really focus on your stars and shit. Don't be feeding us these. People we don't give a fuck about. O'Malley will definitely be a decision meister. The Pedro fight was a bad sign. Uh, could you see that? Well, yeah, there you go. Just like Desanya. Desanya has a face tattoo that says dragon in Arabic. Yeah, I just didn't notice. His hard taste tattoos just don't stand out, but you are right. He has face tattoos. 
Thoughts on Not Real Lady on Plane Lizard Rant? What's that? Opinions on Dick and Noam Chad slicing each other with long shiny swords that killed the Muslims in the Holy War that's been passed down from warrior to warrior based. If you meant Serpa, yes, but Lucifer, period, and Lucifer. Uh, Rigo, where do you get your name from? Maybe we need a Rigo Skiz. Oh, Lord, video. It's just a nickname from one of my buddies. He actually hopped in the chat a while ago. He's just one of my Salvadoran buddies. Um, if I ever go back to El Salvador, I'll bring him on a stream one time. But yeah, there's not really much to it. Just a little nickname. I hope Sanhagen walks Umar like a dog. I'm going to pick Sanhagen. I don't think Umar's quite there yet. Strickland uh, to be a guy like Sanhagen. Sanhagen is leveling up. Marab Kakchuba, what do you mean? SH. What up, Rick? Hey, how's it going, Chatterhead? How's your day been, dude? Rigo, why you delete the comment of asking Jordan Levitt to collab? Because fucking people were mocking me and he didn't respond to it. So, <laughs> fuck it, I deleted it. Hey, Rigo, when did you first realize you were bi? Never. Should bring back Ultimate Surrender to replace WMMA, book Grassovers, Jajua. Shut the fuck up, Runer. At this time in the stream, you can't be do saying that shit. They're getting me bricked up here. How quickly would Volk murder O'Malley? Oh, just absolutely decimate his little chicken corpse, dude. Majority of flyweights would fuck him up. Especially any of them with good, uh, good hard fucking striking. Rigo, don't you think we Lee should fight Volk for Oceania? Wait, oh, let's get it going, dude. If she wins the land, she goes back to the land goes back to China. Yeah, where it rightfully belongs. Lady had a freak out on a plane, and people say she'd the guy she was speaking to had lizard eyes. Interesting. I haven't seen it. I'll, I'll try to look into it. How base was Rigo actually? I That's something about chicken. I don't, don't know what it you can. I don't know if I ever got it. Impression of Thomas Sal talking to Usman about the roots of slavery. I don't know who Thomas Sal is. Nina Jama's 35, dating a beta male in his 20s. Is he actually a real ass Rigo? Like Chad, five foot six man like Gordito. King Merlin would keep her in check. Yeah, you would. Dude. Back her grow out her post hair and cream pie. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. We have thoughts on Ilya Tapir being an uh, A tier Georgian schizo with a caduceus. Yeah, someone, you were saying that. You were saying that. Make a video on him. I don't know what a caduceus tattoo is. Caduceus. Is it like a goat or something? Caduceus. Grand Wizard. No. The thought like little. It's ever a Dex concert to music video. Fun fact, my family knew a guy named Rigo. Fortunately, it was reviled. He was a pedo and OD'd on code. It's a herald's wand. A caduceus is an ancient Roman herald's wand, typically with the two serpents intertwined around it, carried by the messenger god Hermes, traditionally associated with healing powers. Based, super fucking based. Yeah, Frenchy said he was uh, gonna stream tonight. I think he said that earlier. I got my third speeding ticket in eight months. They hoping they don't take my license. Damn, dude, they take your license for three speeding tickets in three months, eight months. The fuck? What type of communist state do you live in? I thought you could just rack up speeding tickets forever. Schizo noises. She met the grand lizard. Mm, that's what it sounds like. Why would he be flying on a plane though? Santagin is either another victim of black magic or a serial killer. Yeah, he has a dark mind for sure. His scales are legendary and his unlimited cardio, it seems. He might have raw, un untapped, like, demonic energy. He might not even actually be channeling it, or he's just figuring out how to channel it. You know what I mean? He might not be. He might be an uninitiated uh, black magic user. That's very, very dangerous, a rogue magic user, because even CKB will have rules. Uh, things they don't violate, that spells they don't dabble in. An uninitiate, like Corey, unguided, extremely powerful black magic practitioner. Holy shit. Because you ever hear about Jake Matthews signing his first UFC in blood articles about it? No, no, no. This is too much. I'm getting... There's so much fucking... This is going deeper and deeper. Caduceus is the staff of the two snakes and the winged helmet on top. He has two intertwined snakes with a winged cross on top of his head. Based it. Rigo, unfortunately, you're not possessed of U.S. citizenship. Otherwise, your would be an easy dub. Why? Oh. Oh. Uh, I'll go live when Rigo's about to go off. Okay, cool. For you. I'll, uh... How long have I been on?
Jake Matthews blood thing. I will check it out, Dex. I will check that out for 100%. Uh, you know it. Jesus Christ. So, so he signed his contract like in his own blood or whose blood? I'll just check it out. I'll check it out. I'll let you know off the top of your head. Tapir is a servant of the Herald of God. Champ Cheddar, be careful, Brazza. I don't know if the Royals are able to take my license. Eventually, damn, Cheddar. Well, you might as well get an e-bike. You got to get in that pib grind. Base Cheddar, not giving a street about speeding loss. Look it up. It's real. Uh, Iliad Superior, 100% is schizophrenic. I really do think he's one of the most unstable personalities. Death, dark magic in him more than the rest. He's the scariest UFC fighter despite being a midget. He does have really like crazy amounts of power, it seems to him. Unbridled power, like uncontrolled. We got found a possible entry to your beast bestiary. Angela Hill's grandparents were Barney and Betty Hill, the most famous UFO abductors. No, are they actually? Like, is that a real thing? I don't know who Barney and Betty Hill are. Let me look them up. See if they actually are black people. Uh, I was going 85 on a 70 limit, but the dickhead cop was eight, wrote 85 on a 55. That's insane. Can't you dispute it or whatever? They are black people. Well, one is. One's white. Uh-oh. <laughs> She's an alien? That's fucking wild. I thought you were frozen and you blinked. <laughs> Tapir has definitely seen the other side. Regal only reads my skits or shit, not my good MMA points. Sorry, dude. The UFC is competition among demons. This U has the more powerful control over their vassals. I'm starting to get more and more convinced, dude. I got to get out of this shit before I fucking fully convince myself. Tapir beats everyone via schizophrenia. Yes, that's true by Angela Wild. Yeah, I just looked up the uh, people. It looks like it definitely could be her grandparents. He signed it in bat blood. These guys are messing with things they don't want to be messing with, dude. UFO abductors are just attention-seeking. Well, often they're misguided as well because they're not. there's no such thing as UFOs or aliens. Black and white couple. Yeah, black and white couple. Connor's a top five for featherweight of all time. He literally smashed everyone. You mean top four to five? It's not how you make a, it's not how you write that. Top five to four? The fuck are you talking about, Dick? I mean, you need to get back to school and stop vaping so much. So he's a top four to five featherweight of all time. He literally smashed everyone to come up in 30, 27 max without an ACL. Then went on to smash the GOAT in 13 seconds. Yeah. Yeah, he has a top five four featherweight. But see this what happens when Harry Potter came out. No, dude, what are you talking about? Your foes. Angela was an alien couple. She would win fights, not lose two out of three. I recorded a 30-minute signature, accidentally pressed the top recording button eight minutes in. No, dude, I've done that when I was first recording, dude. I messed up a good couple of videos. It's just fucking, you get used to it, and you never will make it this mistake again, typically. You'll figure out a, you know, you figure it out. But um, I will actually typically break, if if I was you, just get into the habit of kind of breaking it up in the chunks. Because um, you're going to be editing it typically anyway, right? Um, cutting out some sections where you stop and pause or mess up your words, so... Get again that habit of recording a little bit smaller because my recording device, my thing as well, sometimes will fuck up if the recordings get too long. So I got in the habit of doing smaller segments. Doesn't really matter as long as you don't change your angle. You know, we go once you notice these rituals and behaviors, you can't see them. Yes, it's not just one of the type of fighters. It's lady ninety percent. I know, dude. It's unseeable. I'm gonna grate this cop's asshole. Yeah, you should, I would take him for that because like, it's pretty easy to prove. He he would have like it's pretty easy to prove where. Where you die with the speed limit, right? And then you shouldn't have any issue with a five over. Like the other over is probably a lot, right? Aliens are real. I've killed several. Nice grand wizard. Grand wizard. The whole UFC is not a competition between just demons, brothers. It's just another avenue for spiritual warfare. UFC were fun back in the day, like 89 to 139. It's fucking epic. It's had some really good eras for sure. Depends. Might just be a nostalgia viewing shit. I've never been as in it to UFC as I have been for the last like three or four years. So. I've been watching way, way, way more uh, now than I ever did before in my life. Even though I've been watching UFC for probably like 10 plus years. No, more than that, yeah, 15 years. But um, 
I didn't care that much about it. Only cared about a Canadian fighter like GSP, Roy McDonald type shit, John Jones type shit, right? Um, would have been cool to be a hardcore back then. That is kind of true. Or being a hardcore during like the rise of McGregor because I wasn't really, I was like, not really watching uh, everything during the McGregor era. Just watch like the pay per views and shit. Connor is such a sigma bro. Walked in there against Poirier, Mendez, and Holloway. Injured and didn't pull out. He's never pulled out. No, he is a fucking absolute warrior. He has that shit in him for sure, dude. He actually does. Uh, built different. True, more Adesanya like champ. The next Connor we'll see in five years. Oh, you're talking about the O'Malley shit, Andre? Yeah, yeah. Out of nowhere, Ron different. UFC needs that after Connor retires. Yeah, but people, those guys are much, much, much more rare. You're way more likely to get Adesanya's or even the Strickland, you know. Uh, fucking. I'm sorry, I just blanked there for a second. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what the fuck was I gonna say? I'm gonna have to get off soon. I'm fucking forgetting what I'm saying. Shit, dude. Oh, yeah, yeah. Those guys don't come along. Like, yeah, maybe five years, maybe a decade. Who knows? They are really, really uh, rare personalities. And the combination of skills and personality is even rarer, right? Anyone literally talking about doing juju rituals at 3 a.m.? The Sonya literally talking about it. We got to Connor make a deal with the devil. It's possible. To uh, Yes, I personally believe so. He uh, He's doing stuff like that. I think. Everyone's assumed he made a deal or some sort of ritual. Yep. Dude, would it take a sacrifice somewhere powerful? I think he did it in, yes, and it's coming back. The devil is calling up his debt. I met Stanton Freeman. He broke the Roswell story. Stanton Freeman. Oh, the alien, the Roswell one? Like where the alien crash were? Like that was like the 50s or something, right? 60s? I'm not super familiar with alien stuff. I never looked too deep into alien stuff. Warriors being branded is more forgivable than normal people being branded by tattoos. Oh, sure. Sure, sure, sure. That's part of the culture. Warrior uh, culture and stuff. Aztec worship was babble, corrupted, but in the right place where you think they embraced the worship of Inca. Sacrifice my seed to the succubus ritual. Some caps. Hey, what's good, Happy? You wake up from your fucking uh, dab nap. OG hardcore here. MMA definitely used to be way better. Okay, Anthony Smith's home invader. Go back and watch old cards and tell me it wasn't. It's been a while since I've watched the full hard, uh, old card through. Um, Adesanya blew up when he won the bell, but the hype died when he thought Romero. But I do agree with you, uh, uh, Anthony Smith's home invader. There's definitely been some good eras. Like, we're not in the best era right now. Far, far, far from it. We're in, like, almost a transition era, and it fucking sucks. Noam Chad, like, it was better two years ago. Noam Chad put up proof. Please love to check it out. And the matchups they're making were so much better. Like, now it's like they're almost, we're in an era of, like, garbage matchups, kind of, and, like, I don't know. Weak card, weak card, weak card, weak card, good card. Oh, good card doesn't deliver. Weak card, weak card, weak card, weak card. Good card, oh, it delivers. Uh, weak card, weak card, weak card, you know. It's like fucking weak card. Oh, you miss it because it's a completely garbage card. Oh, it's fucking great or whatever. Weird, weird error right now. We do need a star to kind of solidify shit. Or like some of the divisions are in, two, in weird states too, right? A whole bunch of them. CT, Rigo, forgetting why he's saying like a real man. So you will be base sitting screaming about holy worship in a dark room like Oliveira. One of my Mexican coworkers told me his mom was possessed by her grandma and they got a priest to do an exorcism. Yeah, people do that. It happens in Latin America all the time, dude. Guru is pissed you exposed him for being a pig hybrid. Or ghost or anything like magic. Watching back fights is so boring. MMA is only fun because we don't know the winner. That's true. Like, I don't typically, I would probably, in all honesty, I don't think there'll ever be a time when I sit down and watch an, a card in its entirety going forward in my life. Um, like that, that has passed. Um, unless I've missed the card or something like that. Um, I'm watching it like the next day because you are right. That's part of the thing. I even hate when I miss the live events. Like I hate if I miss the fight nights and then the next morning I have to sit there and watch the card. I don't like it as much. It's just something about it when it's like happening live and shit. Terpia Tenrigo's most recent video. 2016, 2017, it was great. Not on DMT. What's up, Rigo? I hope you're doing well and Girth is nice and pumpy. Shout out, dude. It's fucking sauce. <laughs> I hope you're fine, too. Uh, Norris, what the fuck are you talking about? Dumb pagan. Olivera is embracing the true way of the warrior's light. 
Yeah, Oliveira is definitely illuminated for sure. We were in an era of decision. Have you chance with soy D riding fans that worship decisions? JoJo Stadium, dude. Ima imagine if Strickland was skilled, he'd be the next big thing for sure. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because his personality is uh, at that level. It's definitely at that level. It's 100% at that level. Just he's, yeah. Yeah, unfortunately. Dude, imagine Strickland just manas up, though, and fucking beats Izzy and then starts defending and gets, like, racks up a whole massive amount of defenses just beating these middleweight bums. It kind of would become a McGregor, but obviously we'd be like, yeah, he's shit. And, like, the skill is nowhere near it, but, like, he's still schooling all these middleweight fucking dervics. He could almost become, like, yeah, he could become a massive star. But I bet he's not young enough, to be honest. You need to be younger. Uh, it's funny, but not real. Trippy Regal literally puts all the clips of this on your FC Instagram. Juju Rituals in the video. Mm -hmm. Will the Dwarven Warrior make battle once again with the Goat Man of the Mountainside? I think it could possibly happen. I think it could possibly happen. I think he's definitely focused on it. I made mean, so much better life. Yeah, it needs to be life. Sports in general. Cedar Ortiz was the poster boy of his era. Follow up of Dana, and he was fed to the new contenders. Dana always find a new marketable chip. Yep, 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 yep. It's always how it goes. And it's thick, it's real quick and fickle sport, right? They will throw you to the dogs, dude. I'm watching next Saturday's UFC Fight Night card. I will watch Holly Home. Oh, yeah. I'm not watching it based post fight interview, though. Other than that, I don't care. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, the fights are more enjoyable when you don't know the outcome. What a shocker. Shut up, Gemini. I'm trying to scream this weekend, pay-per-view on Twitch. Really? Interesting. Um, that's illegal. Don't do that. It's highly illegal. It's a uh, copyright infringement. Uh, you can actually go to jail for that. Uh, America's a spirit. America isn't a country. It's a mana filled ripe for the harnessing. Strickland's harnessing it. I don't think it's a fun enough fight style. True. True, 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 true. Sean Shrekin, yeah, you make a very good point. Uh, Sean Shrekin calling out the first Chinese champion was hilarious. On God's side, like, what's up? Um, people doing it, it's illegal. It's a crime. People murder people. Dude, Turby, it's, do you, have you watched the pay-per-view before? You know, at the start of a pay-per-view? When it comes up at the start of a pay-per-view and it gives you a massive FBI warning telling you that you cannot distribute this for, uh, you can't distribute it. It's a crime. And uh, they will get you for it. I highly recommend you don't do it. But you go ahead. You do you, 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 do you, dude. But I would just, as a uh, a friend, I would tell you, I would highly recommend you don't do that. It's a, uh, what are they? It's pirating. Like, it's what fucking Dana is always ranting on about. And if you're going to be showing your face and twitching through, streaming through an account that's associated with your name, they'll get you like that. Been watching someone there, it doesn't matter, dude. Doesn't give you any, it doesn't afford you any sort of legal protection from the fact that it's a crime. Still watching this other guy there. Yeah, bro, but he, like, his channel's not coming around long. Dude, go for it. Turby, do it. I brought Buster streaming UFC paper on Twitch and my account was banned for 24 hours. That's it? Interesting. Well, okay, then maybe not. Maybe I'm over ex uh, exaggerating what can happen, but it is straight up a crime. Like they can charge you for it if they want to, but maybe it's hard to do it internationally. But 100%, like if you're in the United States, they'd fucking slap you so hard for doing that. It's like streaming like copyrighted fucking content. Surprise Twitch lets your channel even come back because, yeah, YouTube would just terminate you immediately. But go for it then, dude. Spanish were based in their time, but they succumbed to the Bane of Empire Idleness. The Sean Strickland is the real black dragon. DDP's Huguenot ancestors fled Europe due to the rampant black magic of the time. Yeah, well, they're persecuting them. Uh, it says, Destiny to meet the Sanya, smite his juju with power of light. Turpy, don't let these feds. Yeah, whatever. Do it. Do it, dude. Beta Rigo scared of Dana. No, I was just giving him advice, but I'm not doing that. Uh, 
<laughs> no, shut up, Emma Mel said. You fucking know what I was saying was fucking true. That you wouldn't be streaming pay per views. You know it. Uh, personally, know someone who got sued by UFC lawyers for thousands because he didn't get a commercial license. Yep, bars it happens to bars all the time. Uh, Rigo Oliver is another underrated skit, so he's 100% sits alone in a room and full out loud conversations with God, punching holes in walls while dancing. Oh, for sure, dude, getting covered in himself in his own blood and doing like pugilistic shit. Or what's it called? Where they flagellate themselves. DDP is the white man's Idi Amin of MMA. It's not a bad comparison. Don't do it. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend it, but. It is, but hard to please. It's really easy to please. Oliver definitely communicates with God. Australia has no copyright laws, pirates. You shit on my typing methods, just trying to stay under character limit. Don't feed me topics. I'm be well educated on like slavery, gnomes, and prominent noses, and accept rants, 200 characters, ethnic British fucking bomb. Wait, who are you talking to, dude? Me? You call me an ethnic British bomb? Twitch is based, so YouTube would hang me by the nuts. It's not necessarily about that, too, though, because there's like, you know. other things doesn't matter if twitch te technically allows it it is illegal just be aware of that like don't take it as like t twitch allowing it meaning it's a legal thing it's just they're not enforcing it i guess on twitch but we're just gonna have to catch you move to guadalupe yeah i'm not sure how easy it is to penalize people in australia but tony was possessed by a demon olivera paladin chandler exercising his right leg of god worst flavor you ever vaped I've definitely vaped some couple bad flavors. Um, trying to think. Oh, there was this like candy kind of like Skittles flavored one. It was awful. I blame Izzy and Guru for the soyification of MMA Guru. Made all the new anime Izzy fans so triggered that they now invade every comment section to counter his correct views and make soy channels. Guru made all the new anime Izzy fans so triggered that now, hey, dude, you might not be wrong, bro. You might not be wrong. Australia death is copyright laws. I streamed Holly Field vs. Belfer and got a strike. Yeah, like, I mean, they wouldn't really have good trade relations with the United States if they were allowing that stuff. And they have the means to enforce it, which they do. They're also part of the Five Eyes shit. So they share data with the United States freely. They don't, like, they just hand over your data to the United States freely and vice versa. Strickland needs to hone in on his wrestling. He's a great wrestler, but thinks he can outjab Izzy security card. Yeah, if he's just blasts a double on Izzy, that'd be so sick. Imagine he walked out on Deshaun Strickland, sleeps as he did. That'd be fucking sick with the, the do-rag. Because they'd probably get into his head, Izzy's head. If Izzy saw that, he'd be raging. Whenever I get anxiety about fighting, I punch my orbital bones to make me secure myself. You should. It's actually smart, dude. Idi Amin was definitely my favorite king. I, of Scotland. The last king of Scotland. Imagine if Oliveira wasn't Charles Oliveira and was just some random guy screaming about God's illumination and doing those dances in the streets. People would legit think he's insane. He's so based. There's a thing on Twitch you turn off copyright. You can't turn off the law, dude. That's different. I'm surprised Twitch is operating like that. That's real shady. I hope Duplessis gets the KO. Who do you want to win? Duplessis? Duplessis all fucking day, and I'm picking Duplessis. Thoughts on no one being such a heavyweight? Giga Chatty needs two wraps. Throws blunts. Old pay-per-views? Well, that's possibly why it's not getting... Also enforced, dude, because they're not selling old pay-per-views. If you are streaming something that's being sold as a pay-per-view like that night, dude, take your chances. Daniel Hooker is the best personality in MMA because Curtis, Mason Herring, I'll take two massive L takes, brain dad takes. Stop talking bad about Kai Car fans. Also, a, a super fun take. Kai Car fans is a cretin. Chris Curtis is a whiny feminist and uh, shitty, awfully shitty, one-dimensional, barely deserves to be called an MMA fighter. Um, Dan Hooker, best of all the three of them, horrible person. Not a man. Strickland should walk out to America. Fuck yeah, dude, from the, the, the I know, the, yeah, yeah, what's that movie? Team America or whatever, I'll be the only one cheering him. 
riding with Edie on that boat seemed like peak human enjoyment. Just chatting about the fighting sport, anime are good, everything else for pedos. Spitting Aussie. Kaikara fans looks like the middle school bully in the movie who never had his height, face, body changes. He grew. Dude literally lost the ability to age his dark, magical, ritual regal. Scientologist blasphemous. 100% correct. Your ethnic British abomination. If it wasn't for being raised in Alpha Canada, you'd have pink hair and cry about oppression of your great, great, great Maori uncle. Whitaker isn't a real warrior. He's not. Unfortunately, he had this. He has a good spirit, but he's not a real warrior. KKF looks like an imp. Base Terpy fighting copyright. Guys, don't but encourage it. I'll be doing after fight watching at the pub with a few mates. Don't hate on Dan Hooker. Dude is a fighter. Really? More like a punching bag. KKF is so unlikable, and I don't know why. I know. He's so absolutely unlikable, man. Um, I do know why. It's his face and personality. We got the pay-per-view as well to rewatch. Dan Hooker always makes me laugh. He's awesome. KKF is so cringe. Yeah, man. He's the fucking worst human. Thoughts on placing a grand against Bo Nickel to try to hit? No. I wouldn't fucking do it, dude. Unless you just have money to fucking throw away. Like, if you don't need the money at all, just like your winnings from your other shit, I guess, if you want to, if you like that shit. But I personally would not do that. I wouldn't personally bet that way, probably ever. Because it's just too risky for me. I would not, I would feel fucking terrible to lose the money, even if I had a whole bunch of money to be thrown away. But I don't know, that's fucking insane, Red Van Borneo. Okay, KF is not a gnome. I'd like him first. Yeah, he's not a gnome. He's like a lesser goblin. Stop calling Kai. A cretin, he's a goblin. <laughs> True, dude. Yeah, Mason, you're right. Stream it, dude. I'll donate a dollar and watch it with you. Now you guys are fucking literally making it even bigger crime. He's now selling it. Strickland should roid up. I poke back of the head shots, etc. Versus, he, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, just do get him out early, right? Like a guru strategy that everyone should just be dropping I pokes in the start of the round and get your fouls out of the way. KKF is a vampire, hence the aging delay. Yeah, some of a vampire goblin. KKF is evil and low frequency and absolute abomination. Rigo, what's more likely? We see Bo Nickel win like an absolute douchebag this weekend after his trash talk, or we watch Whitaker get caught in a retard lunging into range during a body punch. Just a second. Wait, they're both. What's more likely? Bo Nickel wins. Of course. It's way higher odds. Hooker's equator. Yep. Matin, spitting, bro. What's up, dude? Hope you're having a good day. Dan Hooker's awesome, bro. I don't get your hatred for the lads from Down Under. I don't hate all the lads from Down Under. I was defending Tai to Avasa earlier. I'll never hate Hooker. Dude is a dog. Dan Hooker literally sucks and is slow and senile, but it's funny as fuck. Yeah. Oh, he is funny. He's got. He's all right. Little Mason. She gave hair like a green gobbler. Flying to Australia tomorrow. Hooker is taking way too much damage. I'm a real hobgoblin. Flying to Melbourne. What are you doing there, Mason? But Nickel going to go for the testies. Oh, yeah. Low blow nickel, bro. Him and Cameron Simon are doing MMA correctly. <laughs> These new prospects, bro. They got they they've been trained differently. Val Woodburn title incoming. <laughs> Imagine, dude. He just sparks fucking ball. Dark side regal. Going my bro. If you come to North South Wales, meet me up. Guru should stop. Make technical and maybe he doesn't stick to tier list and expose videos. Uh, if he doesn't want to do as much work and have more fun making the videos, like not, it's not that they're not as much work, less research, um, because he's already got a massive. He can just make he can probably just make a tier list off the top. Like he can just make a tier list. You know, what I mean, he doesn't even need to do research. Um, for the like amount of like he doesn't have to sit around because he doesn't seem to like who the fuck likes making picks you, to be honest you gotta be pretty nerdy if you really like to watch like crazy amount of tape on prelim fighters like i don't mind checking him out a couple of things and stuff like that but fuck when i was do, trying to do those prediction videos and transitioning the channel and i was starting to do the, the couple i had put up maybe like five or six tr prediction videos i fucking hated it sitting there going i didn't do that before that wasn't my thing i watched other people's picks videos to get my idea of the upcoming fights and then i'm sitting there on fight pass watching like fucking verna jangeroba fucking wanting to blast my brain out um uh, so uh rigged pool uh yeah i, I agree with you 100 percent t uh tt 1915 um but yeah i agree with you but that's just from my personal point of view. he might like making picks videos 
Poirier broke hooker. No amount of black magic can fix him. No amount of IVs either. Fun fact, Robert Whitaker has zero title defense. He won an interim title. Yes, versus Romero is a title cuck. Was later promoted to paper champ. Yep, title cuck. Then fought Romero, who missed weight, so title wasn't on the line. Yep, title cuck. And then KO'd by Izzy. Title cuck. And then lost Izzy again. Title cuck. Yep. We're, in, in, we're kicking. We're being so brutal to Whitaker lately. Almost feel bad. It's like if, if it was Mor It's almost like picking a Moreno, but not. Where's our NFTs? Oh yeah, I um, you gotta make Terpy. You gotta make a uh... yeah, cause you won, right? Cause the other guy never claimed it. Uh, Terpy, I'll explain it in members, dude. Oh, give yours the Ninja Choke. Okay, bet. I'll uh appreciate you, Terpy, and I will let Ninja Choke know that next time. Um, I see him. I'll tell him how to get it. Yo, my super chat didn't Sam. What the fuck, really, Jake BB? You're like the second or third person, not for me, but I was in someone else's stream the other day. I was in like a wheelchair Drew stream just watching it. He had a $30 super chat sent to him and it didn't show up. It just showed up on like the earn tab. And the guy was like, what the fuck? It like charged me for the $30. So what, whatever you said, just type it and I will, I read your shit. Cause it very well might get processed. Like if it charged you, it might come through to me. YouTube's having a bug right now. Been going for about a week. Guru wants to do weekly interviews. Man, imagine how many people in Guru's chat have had that happen because he gets fucking hundreds of donations. Dude, imagine how many people's $2 donations have just been scanned and they've been in the comments going like, hey, like, the fuck? Damn, dude. Rigo, you Dr. Jekyll and KKF is your Mr. Hyde. Shut up. Do not fucking say that. The Turkish dude that was trying to hit Leanna Jaju at the religious riz in the thumbnail. I know, dude. It's not going to work, though. Um, She's not interested in those types. She probably wants a Western Chad. Uh, fair skin, fair hair, uh, aquiline nose to match her schnoz. Because think about it. Imagine my nose, Eskimo kissing Leanna Jujua's nose. It'd be the perfect combo. She doesn't need a Turk. A barbarous Turk's nose. Fucking with nostril hairs coming out. Uh, getting up on that beautiful, pristine schnoz of hers. Thank you, Rigo. Cheers. But yeah, no, thank you. Uh, well, Ninja Stroke should be thanking you. Whitaker would have absolutely... We're not hating on Whitaker because of what he's done for us, Mason. We're hating on him because of his fucking retarded attitude and the stupid shit he does. He makes completely uh, baseless allegations against Islam Makachev, but defends Izzy, okay? He fucking... Uh, that's just the worst one. But he there's other shit he does. He's also said stuff about... Guys, remind me, he's a very big fucking runs his stupid little Twitter mouth all the time. Who else did he go after recently? I should have... Uh, fuck, man. There's something on Twitter that I was like, well, I'm done with Dan Hooker. Fuck this piece of shit. He was saying something on Twitter. He went at someone. Oh, he also went at the guru. Did he not? He did. That's something that happened, too, during the Marab shit. So, dude, stop defending this guy. He's a little fucking victim bitch. They're all victim bitches down there. Seriously. They all fucking have a, a double standards as well. They think they can mock people, make fun of people, say whatever the fuck they want. And they think that Izzy can go around acting like a diva, bullying people on Twitter, calling people midgets on Twitter, fucking doing whatever he wants, uh, uh, calling people the N-word, calling people the cracker. You know what I mean? And then if anyone so much as says anything about their stupid shit fucking team or any of their shit, their goddamn shit, asshole fucking arrogant fighters oh it's the end of the world and it's like oh don't fucking do this dude they all have a complex down there and yeah how are you but i'm doing good jake bb sorry let me go up i said yo oh you said yo hey well what i uh, appreciate you jake bb hopefully it didn't fucking hopefully it does like give it charge it back to you because it's like a fucking oh that's probably a second one i'm assuming right jake bb but appreciate you dude for the fucking Two Australian dogs. Dude, sorry, I'm literally ranting about Australia and New Zealand. Actually, that was mostly directed at New Zealand. Don't take that about it. It wasn't about Aussies. That was mostly about New Zealanders. Uh, none of that was about Aussies, actually. It was not directed at Aussies. Uh, I just think Volk is being corrupted by hanging out with those soy boy New Zealanders. Um, they're just on off one one. Whitaker's like a peasant farmer who can put up a good fight versus an invading horde, but... Ultimately, he's a farmer and not a warrior, so he won't win. But can stall while the women flee. Yes, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. 
he's got honor fighting spirit but just not that true war he's not you are spelling it out perfectly numjad whitaker never won the undisputed title so he really we can claim he was never a champ he a meat male champion but yeah yeah title cook Poetan is going to beat Jan. I don't know how he avoids getting grapple fucked, but it's going to happen. I got a big feeling. But, well, hey, I would love to see it happen. Not very invested in Blahovic's, um career. I'd much rather see Poetan uh, get a run at light heavyweight. But I think Blahovic probably get it done. Dan Hooker being a hypocrite and alcoholic on Twitter. Yeah, like Connor made me dislike him more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dan Hooker is a victim of his own stupidity. Yes, bro. Thank you for spelling that out. He says the... Uh, it's, such a bully and asshole and like fucking loudmouth schmuck. I 100% think he's stupid enough to think he could be an Islam. Yeah. And he thinks he lost to Islam because he got fucking 100 milliliters of IV or something. I don't trust he could be, bro. I haven't even seen this alleged dark magic. Well, hey, bro, Dex, too. Check out my video after. I might probably do a follow up because people have been putting up a whole bunch of other shit. Kai's the worst. You were defending him earlier, Mason. Did you just want me to rage about her or something? Grasso should do ASMR with her with her what? She has what all female ASMRs possess. Underlying sexual energy that's never addressed by everyone aware of. Can't imagine better nap than listen to that voice. Dude. I sent that one now. Pretty appreciate you, Jake Bebu, for that as well, dude. Um weird glitch with YouTube. Dan Hooker's brain damage. Yeah. Damn, you go. Sorry at my home. I wasn't hey, none of that was directed at the Aussies. I'm trying to save the Aussies from the New Zealand. Stop hating on city kickboxing. Whitaker having zero title events is crazy since people try to claim him as the third best middleweight ever. Yeah, Prime Wyman or Prime Rockle would bully him and destroy him with wrestling grand pound. Dude, all those guys are like, oh my God. Bro, all respect to Guru, but he is on the Whitaker rim job train, dude. I was watching his video earlier today, uh, the breakdown of the DDP shit, and he was talking about how Whitaker's under rated and people don't respect his skills and don't talk about his skills and all this stuff but oh that's all i ever fucking hear about whitaker that's part of the reason i stopped i started to like, get just like just shut the fuck up about whitaker and how great he is and all this stuff like yeah he's really well-rounded but like everyone talks about it it's not like no one's talking about that they were literally after he beat vittori uh rogan and whoever and they're sitting there going wow he's literally the best middleweight in the world. I think he's better than Izzy. They straight up said that. Uh, I was like, they're like, I think he's better than Izzy. I just think Izzy's got his number. I straight up, like, I swear, like, what Rogan or someone was saying that? He's better than fucking Izzy, man. Dude, they all rim him. Uh, Rigo, when we get into schizo UFC fighter tears, I could make one of those for sure. Uh, people call out Dustin Poirier for talking shit to Dan after the fight, but before the fight, Hooker ran his mouth the whole time. Yeah. Oh, you can't talk shit to a guy you just beat the hell out of when you have massive amount of emotions going through your body. And Dustin still gets talked for that. When people bring up Dustin having a fake personality, that's the one example they use. I think there might be another one that people would sometimes use. I can't think of any others. He doesn't have a fake personality. Dustin's actually pretty genuine. The, the New Zealand guys are fake because they all are taught, like, they're like, very negative people. Um, I, I get the sense from them. Very negative. And I, I'm a pretty fucking negative guy. I'll be making negative content and shit. But I just get that from them. But then they present themselves in an opposite way. It's like a very sick hypocritical. I love Whitaker. He's our guy. Yeah, I have no problem with Whitaker. I did make a video memeing on him. But I don't actually genuinely have any issue with Whitaker at all. Um, the CKB guys really rub me the wrong way. Daniel Hooker versus Yair Rodriguez. Let's make it happen, dude. He, Yair Rodriguez fucking split his head open. Poirier, real warrior, smash hooker's face in. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. For like 15 minutes. Do some orthodox chants. I don't know any, but I'm going to start learning some. Volk is a child. He's on the rugby sauce instead of Izzy growing a tit. He's called the proper juice. He's okay, but not the best. The Sonya sucks, bro. Well, no, he doesn't, though. Mason, what the fuck? Whitaker's a decision merchant who got run out of welterweight. Like, he's good. He is definitely good, but, you know, being a top middleweight is not any, you know, DDP is a top middleweight. People rim Whitaker constantly for beating Burns like Vittori as if that has an accomplishment. Yeah, I mean, he does have some good fights, right? He's got the Yoel wins, and he's been very competitive with Izzy, but so have other people. Like Jared Cannonier has been competitive with Izzy. Uh, Vittori arguably had a better fight against Izzy. Um like, yeah, I do think he's a bit overrated, actually. He's definitely not underrated. Whitaker's 100% not underrated. That's a bad take. Hooker shit talked him so much before the fight and then had to leave on a stretch with an IV in his arm. He 
He's having IV flashbacks, dude. That's why he's accusing Islam. Like, I'm not even a Team Khabib or Islam guy. You guys know that. But, like, hey, I'd love to see allegations come out and the Melodonium shit. Like, King Green's allegations have more water to them. King Green is a more trustworthy individual with more integrity, obviously, than Dan Hooker. And his allegations actually had uh, validity to them. I said it before, Dustin has a mean streak, but he's a good dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he should have that mean streak. That's why he's such a good fucking fighter. We go, when we get a UFC skit, so I, I will do one. No, Chad, I will do one. I'm back. Did you miss me? It's good, Landon. Next, how was your uh, day? Dude? Reacted one and one. Um, are you planning on your sex retreat to Georgia? Dude, I got to get Leanna's attention. First, and Rob Frock, thank you, fucking my guy, for the $10, dude. Appreciate you. The best breakdown of Freemasonry and Dark Magic can be found on YouTube searching Jean Jerka explain Freemasonry. It won't let me link it here. Yeah, yeah, it typically won't. They're, they're scumbags. Cheers, Rico. Keep doing logic. Thank you a fucking lot, uh, Rob. I'm 100% going to watch that when I hop off stream. It's probably going to be 10 minutes or so. I'll probably get off at a two, two and a half hour mark. Um, dude, thank you for that. And fucking feed me Freemasonry and Dark Magic lore. Jean Jerka explains free me. So I got it here. It's a new video. Cool. That's good. I bet it's going to be in my watch. It's going to be my recently watch for when I go off. <coughs> Excuse me. No, bro. Is he vaping? Mm. Fucking, I'm watching it 100%. The second I get off motherfuckers first frame of his video he's vaping and some sun sensual redhead strawberry blonde bitch got her eyes all squinty i like it i'm gonna watch it appreciate you rob motherfuckers blown out of vape uh through his nose the second the video started uh just saying robert made marvin immediately admit to losing marvin can't take losing for shit that is true that is true um that was a decisive, uh, 100% a decisive uh, v uh, victory. Absolutely. I can confirm uh, it was a really great performance, and it was actually a fun fucking fight to see. Um, but, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm not hating on Whitaker or anything. I don't want to give Whitaker too much hate. And it is the smart pick this weekend. But it's also not, like, as far. I don't think it's, like, as crazy. I don't think it's, like, a clear cut. Like, this is, like, absolute done and dusted, like a Volk TKZ type thing. That's That's what I'm getting the impression. Uh, in the build up to this fight, is people are treating this as like Volk TKZ, like like Whitaker is just gonna fucking finish DDP on the feet or something like that. Mm, I don't know. I think it's a lot of closer odds. I can confirm Khabib is watched the stream saying gnomes are real, brother, dude. I bet you the the Caucasian the Dags or whatever, not the Caucasians. I gotta stop using that word because it's confusing. The Dags and the Georgians would fucking oh yeah, you know they'd be they'd be uh, nodding their heads. <laughs> The dark voodoo slave king from Nigeria bastardized to the land of dragons and famine. Israel Desanya is better than Robert Whitaker. Well, that's true. Yeah, absolutely. Mogs him. King Green has more evidence than Dan. I drank too much and was talking shit hooker. Yep. And another thing that made me, made me lose respect for Eugene Behrman with that. Someone defined Freemason and stupid, so I understand that. Rob? I'm sure Rob got that fresh on his head. Freemason is an occult group. Elite joined to do gay stuff. The four and a half hour one. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. What, uh, what do you mean by that, Jojo? Oh, yeah. The video? Was the video four and a half hours? I don't think it was. Is that what you're talking about? It was like 17 minutes or something. A little bit of vapes, of course. You... you know I vape. You're in here all the time. Get magic power. Riga, you watch Ice Poseidon? Uh, no, but I know who he is. Guy in jail time. What did he do? I do know who he is. I remember watching him back in the day a little bit. Never actually watched watched him, but I would watch compilations of him occasionally. Um, he would do like IRL streaming, right, and stuff. I do know who you're talking about. He's a little ratty looking guy. Um, why did he get arrested? What is that fucking idiot doing? I'd love to see how many allegations come out when CKB eventually crumbles and their finals all start to lose. Yep. Isn't that usually when camps have all the stereo reveals come out? Yeah, we've had it happen. Black zillions, right? Little bro vapes. Marvin is just roaming about losing. If it does, if if it's close, they won. But if you beat their ass, they'll give you props. True, true. Good way of putting it, friendless. Yeah, practices magic too, so it's closer. Yeah, he practices Santeria probably as well as maybe other stuff. 
TKZ doesn't practice magic. He's a Korean peasant farmer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's so mannerless. Streamers be like getting butt fucked in a Thai jail by a raw tang lookalike. Marvin is a sad and sore loser after takes an L, but the CKB guys lose in satisfying ways. When Izzy lost the Yen, you saw his nerdy, insecure to Sonya self clapping. Love that moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Kaikar France. Dude, they're such bad losers, though. They are, though. Like, Eugene Behrman also needs to shut his mouth up and have a little bit more of a professional attitude. Um, he makes Ali Abdelaziz look like measured um, and consistent. I know they're managers and they're doing stuff, but like, come on, man. As an Aussie, I can admit Rob losing is better for the vision movie for it. It is. It legitimately is. It keeps that log jam there if he stays up there. If he loses, we get that DD. It just shakes. It does. It's a really good, it's a really good outcome for DDP to get there. I am a big, big, big DDP fan. Really like him. So Cannoneer finishes Whitaker in a five rounder. Oh yeah, I'm a big massive Cannoneer fan too as well. Now I'm really happy to see him coming into his fucking we're getting a second Cannoneer. Dude, it's gonna be so sick to see Cannoneer fights. Like Cannoneer versus DDP would be a fucking insane fight. Oh, dude. Till is really good on the feet without a takedown threat, Jojo. It's a bit basic, though, I would say, for Till, dude. Like, he's decent. I don't know about really good. He is pretty good. Yeah, you're not wrong. But I don't know. Kind of just spams fucking one, two. Laps down the pipe. I was beside him. We get the death penalty from base high king. He did lap dance on a man. Is that what they arrested him for? I based all my 40 something year old cousins on our old court government. Crazy. I've been alive half as long as them and have. So much more knowledge. Yeah, they're Gen Xers or whatever. Yes, we got the videos four and a half hours. Oh, the channel is Zircology. We'll give you everything you know. This one was only like 17 minutes in a Canadian thing. I might have got the wrong one. Yeah, this is not the channel. It's on a channel called Pearl. Yeah, I got the wrong video. I'll check out the long one you're talking about then. I'll find it on his channel because I think it's it must be linked to hers. It's the guy you're talking about, it looks like. His name's John Jerka. Um, obviously, he's been talking as a joke and he's not going to become a technical fighter that dances on the octagon. I'm sure DDP is no such rough some, but it should, absolutely should. DDP is ass. His gas tank has been atrocious as far. DDP versus Cannon is I... Eugene's wife is not happy. Eugene looks like he discovered dark magic from a meth addiction. I think he's just degrading. Like his physical body is degrading from how much his soul is like in the immaterial world. You know what I mean? Uh, excuse me. Shit. My dog Nick is 10 and 0 in his amateur fights. Nice, dude. Uh, his full name is Nick. Uh, okay. No. Mm, you almost had me. I'll be safe tonight. God doesn't condone fighting, but he will make sure I'm safe. You're attacking that Mexican kid? Canada beats the Sonya in a rematch. Yep. Yep. He actually does. And Noam Chad, when they first fought the demon that possesses Canada, bowed down to Canada's practice of white magic, but Canada didn't notice. And I really, yeah, he had the opportunity. Dude, New, Z New Zealanders think they're better than everyone. Yeah, because they started being social justice warriors before the culture and they had force. Everyone who wasn't cocked to be on. Yes, dude, they are. They're, that's a really, way, really, really good way of putting it, dude. Um, Noam Chad. Do you think, no matter how any of this stuff plays out, Izzy does defend? Doesn't matter if Ridiker gets the trilogy, DDP gets up there, Strickland gets up there, Izzy beats them all. Cannoneer gets the fucking rematch, absolutely brutally KOs Izzy, leaves him twitching on the ground, just pummels him in the first. Cannoneer at that pace ends Izzy in the octagon, dude. Becomes champ, 41 years old. Let's fucking go, dude. Defends after that. Beats everyone. Retires on top. Breaking the middleweight uh, record. Cannoneer literally won two rounds against the Sonya. Very good. 
Yeah, very good Giga Chad NPCs. Yep. And he had the opportunity to push a little bit more. He could have stolen that fucking fight. He's good. One of Egyptian mythology, the first son of Ra. If you're an atheist, don't believe in real science. Why are you attacking my podcast, the man bear pig? What's the meme with Jojoa? Oh, there's no meme, man. I am fell in love. Izzy is ass. Izzy did no damage to the Crystal Warrior Jared. No, he did not. Going to cringe this weekend. Listen, he just outpointed him, and Whitaker could have switched it on, but just didn't notice, as Noam Chad said. He had the the mana to beat him, and he still does. Going to cringe this weekend, listening to Toe Rogan, pretending he has a clue what's going on. He is actually a casual. Derek McKill, he is, and I hate when he's on pay-per-views now. And he used to be great, even up to a couple of years ago. Uh, but it was a no, it just started to become a noticeable uh, loss of quality in what he'd said, just repetitive nonsense. And he's high and a little bit drunk. And I have no respect for someone who's doing professional broadcasts, smoking marijuana or drinking. And they are. He is. So don't. If you want to enjoy the show and have a couple fucking buffalo traces and a joint, of like 35% THC weed that just blasts you out of your head. Do it and just sit in the crowd, Joe Rogan. You'll get a free front row ticket anytime you want. He's just fucking high out of his mind all the time. His TDs look solid since that fight. Can you break as his nails and his jaw? Poirier versus McGregor 2 is a Demetria predicted ritual event. But one month before, a famous actor called Dustin Diamond died. And Dustin's name equals 27 in Demetria. So the number of the pay-per-view. Jesus Christ, Rob Frock. Spitting in chat. If you're an atheist, you don't believe in real science. Read the story of Setarth, the one who slew Osiris. Uh, that's like Egyptian stuff, right? Riga, why do you puff shitty Chinese juice? I don't think these are from China. When you could just get a cheap mod and juice, those suck, dude. I hate those things. They don't hit like a cigarette. These hit like a cigarette. I don't know how to get them to work. Saw your Volk video. Can't wait for you. The knee Volk's bald head off with the soy supporting of Jizzy. Power. Glad you liked it, dude. I don't know if I'm picking. I don't think I'm picking you here. Do you think Izzy is worried about the crystals? Yes. He knows the power. He didn't want that matchup against Cannoneer. Remember, he was extraordinarily reluctant to take it. And then he just had a sudden switch after something, right? And he said, I'll take Cannoneer, right? Think. Was he not denying the Cannoneer matchup or something? I don't know. They're always doing that shit. Maybe it was Eugene. Or did they pick Kennedy? I don't remember. Whatever. Regardless. Of course. He's scared of the crystals. Rogan needs to be released. Yeah, it's just for some reason they're like, oh, he's going to bring in pay-per-views. No one's buying a fucking pay-per-view to hear Rogan at this point. And no one cares. No one wants him. There's better people. DC's like better. Go off. He'd be speaking he, he, be speaking of getting high during the broadcast. That's about a quick bong. Yeah, I don't do that anymore though, right? And have my, are my streams not better when I'm not smoking weed on them? Rigo, notice how polite Desanya was to Cannoneer. Desanya knows Cannoneer is above him. Desanya knows Cannoneer is the true king of 185 and will take his head and crown. Absolutely. And Giga Chad, my fucking guy. Appreciate you for the $5, uh, dollars, Giga Chad NPCs. Against Jan and Jared, he was super respectful. Wonder why. Maybe because he was scared they'd beat him and he barely trash talked Pereira even with the beef. You see how Pereira, and he was with the second comeback? His trash talk was super like isolated to like, tangential podcasts that weren't like in the UFC shit of the pressers and stuff like that. And then when he did the walkout, no fanfare, um, none of the typical Izzy flamboyant shit. No one wanted Cannon versus Izzy. That is true. But we wanted number two, dude. Do you not? Hey, do you not want to see it after seeing uh, Cannon last performance? Do you not want to see the rematch? But thanks a lot, Giga Chat NPCs. And yeah, dude, I think you're fucking... Spot on with it. And he did lose to uh, Yan, right? And he very close to losing to Cannonier. Probably will lose to him if they fight again. Just chilling, laughing, and playing around. Hi, Sebastian. That's what I'm doing right now, dude. Unless Jared starts doing crystal math, <laughs> his crystals are worthless. Jared's trying to use my ancestors to win now, Rigo. Wait, what do you mean by that, Confused Dave? I think Izzy won the fight and maybe won the fight because of the crystals. That could be. Yeah, because I think I do. I think you're right. I think he called hit for it or something. They kind of chose it. Rogan's podcast also fell off. Yeah, let's see. Let's let's see what the Strickland one's like. But it is. I don't watch Joe Rogan. I don't watch any. Like, it's weird. I wouldn't watch a three-hour long-form podcast, but I'd watch a stream. Interestingly enough, I like the interaction. 
I want to at least be able to have the chance to be able to interact or call the guy who I'm listening to a fucking idiot. So even if you are having long-term, or even if you're having a long-term conversation, the fact that people are creating media today like that and do not have a chat blows my mind. That Joe Rogan does not have a super chat where fucking Jesse on fire would be donating $1,000 to get like a 500 character thing to be read. Yes. And Joe Rogan would be willing to the money. Dude, people want chat. Chat is the future. Be in the chat. People would be donating stupid amount of money to Rogan. And other people would just be chilling, chatting, chilling around, laughing, having a good time in the chat and shit. Maybe Spotify will end up getting something like that. But hey, Ken, how's the other going, dude? Um, Biz being Rogan, Anik over... Mm, I just am not on Anik any... Uh, sorry, pfft, absolutely not. Uh, I love Anik, but uh, not on Rogan so much anymore, dude. Don't mind Biz being, but also I prefer him as a power slap commentator. Does Sonya use illusion magic and trickery to pacify? I like Felder, I like Anik, I like DC. Don't mind Cruz sometimes, but he's a little annoying. Mm. Sometimes he's okay, but sometimes he lacks a sense of humor. If he's in a bad mood. Make uh, Tisani uses illusion magic and trickery to pacify Kenanier and make his vigor less and an intense and mana focused Kenanier demolishes Tisani. I'm not the girl. What's up, my girl? Can't listen to Rogan anymore, dude. Is annoying. Same. If anything, I'll just find these clips on YouTube anyway, right? For the, the most important part. My streams are better than Rogan's. No, they ironically are, dude. I only watch Rogan once in a while. If it's who, yeah, if I like who he's interviewing, same Jake BB. If it's one of my favorite MMA fighters, I will. But even then, I'd rather like the hour interview that is still going to give me all the same content, like all the same shit on like whoever's channel. You know what I mean? But even then, I don't know. I'm not really watching that many. Li Those type of interviews, so they're almost like, you got to be a really big fan, as you're saying, Jake BB. Of the guy. <laughs> Uh, Till's last, but you do find out a, a, a lot of interesting stuff from those podcasts, so I do not mind them actually. They're good for uh, getting little tidbits of shit. Uh, Till's last five losses in the UFC sub by DDP, Woodley, Brunson, KO'd by former lightweight Masvidal, and only bomb who didn't finish still was Whitaker. Actually, embarrassing Jojo on the Whitaker fucking exposing Whitaker. Jerry TTS sounds absolutely cursed, and I'm all for it, bro. Wouldn't that be a good fucking thing? A TTS, that'd be smart. Like, for, obviously, for X amount of money. Um, that'd be smart. They could do it for a segment. Doesn't have to be for the entirety of it, but they'll be like, oh, okay, uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson, let's let the chat come on now. Oh, bro. Imagine Neil deGrasse getting flamed by a bunch of based fucking uh, hollow earthers. Jesse would so give Rogan his life savings. I know, dude. If Rogan ever just needs fucking, wants to leech a bunch of money. Rogan needs to get his cousin and dad on the podcast. What do you mean? Who are they? Do you like Fitzgerald? I don't mind them. I think he should get better. He has been getting better. I don't mind Fitzgerald. I used to be friends with him on LinkedIn. <laughs> like, I don't have LinkedIn anymore, but I used to have 